Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, session 9. Uh, uh, I'm Ryan, the GM. It's the 22nd of June, 19. And here are the players. Hi, I'm Eric, and I'm playing a human sorcerer called Callum. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> I already know, I just did wrong. <laughs> are you? Right, okay, that's fine. Now, are you? <laughs> Hi, I'm Adrian. I play a half-elf druid called Aria. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm playing a GM called Ryan. <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm I'm playing a half-orc uh, paladin. Mm -hmm. Yes, yep, yep. Uh, called Crumbar, guys. Hello, I'm Stuart. I play Reach, a half-elf monk. Yep, and here we are today. We are um. Sophieless. Yeah. Don't forget your right spot on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I drink got hers right as well. Yeah. <laughs> My God, though, Callum, never oh, changed. That, that, that made me so happy. Oh dear. Well, it was it was bound to happen to somebody at some point. So we He's made it. Right in his character. Mm -hmm. yep. Honestly, yep. I thought it was gonna be me because I sometimes go by Adri and you know Adri Aria is mm -hmm. not that far of a jump. So I've always thought it was going to be me, but thank you, Callum. <laughs> At the end of it, I just like ah. It's fine. Here we are. It's well, you know. We just know who that guy is now. Well, uh, apparently, Callum's in the game. He's yeah. gonna be completely useless because he has no sort of skill. Yeah, we're gonna have to make like a human sorcerer called Callum for you now. So yeah. <laughs> no, not, not not even a sorcerer, just a human called Callum. Yep. No, I mean he, he did say it was a, a human sorcerer. Yeah. <laughs> What can you do? I can do card tricks. <laughs> <laughs> Abracadabra is my magic word. <laughs> Powerful in some settings. Um, right, so who remembers what happened last time? We reached the Saturday. Yep. We, did, we didn't die on the boat. Correct. Yeah. I like mm, the part of. where we didn't die on the boat. Which did fall over for a brief period. Yeah. Had to be nap. Yeah, wobbly sea legs, it's fine. <laughs> um, um, I got my pamphlet back. Mm -hmm. Which made me happy. Yep, yep. I mean, technically got it back during the voyage, which yeah. was fine, but yeah, retroactively, yeah. Aye, aye. And. Yeah, anything else of note? Um, we got to the thingy, the Golden Citadel thing. Yep, covered that one. Yep. Where there's, um, you know, Golden Citadel things. Um, <laughs> Kumba wanted to fight Eric. That's true. Yep. I wanted to spar with you, not fight. It's basically uh, fighting. Maybe for Eric. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Just playing with the zinc. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. He ha he proper went all he oh, went yeah. all like uh, as if he can see the matrix. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just doing the Superman thing. <laughs> yeah, he, he basically turned into Neo. I think <laughs> the Neo of Ink. <laughs> That can be his like uh, social media slogan, can't it? Mm. Um, <laughs> meet Ermos, the Neo of Ink. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, uh, right, see, we covered that. Uh, all, I'm gonna, all I'm gonna say is, if he does ever end up on Facebook, I will send him death threats. Wow. Wow. I hate it. So Just much. let's let's wind it back in a bit there. Wind it back. Isn't that illegal? Yeah. Also, this is a paladin who's pretty much as yeah. good as a good person. Oh, no, no, this, 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 this is straight up me. Gumbar's <laughs> yeah. on holiday. I'm a pick on the little kid who annoys me. Everything Whoa. okay, like personality wise today? Because, I mean, I feel like we're maybe having some dissociation. <laughs> um, uh, I'm, 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 I'm dreading what's to come because I guarantee you we're going to have to ask the kid questions and he's going to give us a typical cryptic answer as he always does. I mean, you're asking a kid that clearly they're showing up with the kid and you're asking him like questions that normal people can answer but he's not normal, right? <laughs> wow, well, don't, don't judge him for not being normal. No judgement. <laughs> 
If anything, it makes them more interesting. Obviously self-proclaimed, of course. But, um, yeah. A self-proclaimed ink wizard. <laughs> so, with that in mind then, let's review our goal. Um, our goal, wait, our goal was to reach the Golden Citadel, But that's it? been completed. Yeah. You've yes. done that? That was all dealt with last week. So we need a new one now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Aye. Oh, I, I got my own personal goal. The, uh, get the enchantment that uh, makes your weapon insult other people. <laughs> <laughs> the rune of bro. <laughs> have you, have you received it already, or is that a goal you have now? No, this is what he's saying now. That's what he's 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 just adding that in there. That, that should nice. definitely be that should definitely be the goal. But um, yeah, you um, need a party goal, otherwise there's no XP well, gains. Yeah, um, because our overall goal is still find out what the uh, is happening. Yeah, like I'm happy thing. for you to have that as a long term goal, right? Because mm. that's what we've got it listed. But you need like a an actual goal well, that you are currently working on. Because if he's want the next Thing we're working on is how to get to the abyss. So yeah, we need to sort out the le the next leg of the journey. Like, there's going to be any other stops on the way there. I mean, you might find that out obviously this session, so you can't necessarily. Um. Because you know you're going to the abyss, right? You know that's yeah. a thing, and yeah, you're pretty much being. Don't know how. But you're taken by the Golden Citadel. You're joining the expedition. Good. Remember, that's what Odysseus yeah, that's said. Why we're here. So, mm. so these are part of an expedition into the abyss, which means it's not just you guys going, assumedly. But what do you want to achieve? Because we could just move the long-term goal up to the main goal, if you think that's the next thing to achieve, or if you want to add a. Unless something else happens this session. Yeah, if you yeah. if you make reaching it a goal, something would need to happen for the goal to matter. Do you know what I mean? Um, we're kind of because walking somewhere without it being an issue isn't goal worthy. If that makes sense. It looks like awesome. hundred miles of desert. I'd call that a goal. Mm. That's just something you walk. No one is getting a back here off of me. <laughs> I mean, if MD had the golden citadel, probably, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's probably made of gold. <laughs> not very aerodynamic, but. Yeah, yeah it's just uh, no, not efficient at all, no. <laughs> Heats up, melts a bit. Uh, <laughs> it's in the desert, you know. Yeah. But so, yeah. what are we looking to do in the golden citadel? Are we yeah. just yeah, meeting over the expedition, or. Well, yeah, you tell me. Right, and this is what the goal system's well, for. I, I, I assume that we're just going to go straight up to them and be like, "Yo, party's here! Um, let's get this boat on the on the road." And they'll look at you and go, "Why would you drag a boat onto a road?" Mm. We yeah. dog. Because we need to set a goal. We need to be something that's pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean that's that's valid, right? <laughs> yeah, <I laughs> go mean, fishing go for a boat. <laughs> <laughs> just travel by by Karen Camel all the way back up um, <laughs> to the coast. Boat. Yep, get a boat. <laughs> just against everybody's wishes, drag it all the way back through the desert. <laughs> Head to the Golden Citadel. Here's your boat, and then they'd be like, "What the fuck you doing?" <laughs> I mean, they don't they don't mark me, do mm -hmm. True, but like. Right, so what we'd just like to achieve, what is the, like, let's go through it individually, what's Eric's current focus, right? Work down the list. Like, what's going on in his head? What's he trying to suss out? Hmm. Well, he's still trying to, personally, like, Eric is still trying to learn about the party mm -hmm. before he goes into the abyss. He wants to know more people. Um, but, I don't know, that's like more of a personal goal than a party goal. Yep, but it's still... Valid to ear, yeah. Uh, so, so perhaps um, something about learning to trust each other. Yeah. Bonding, right? Okay. What about you, Arya? Any particular goals for you directly? Like, what's her, what's her priorities? I think she's finally starting to warm up towards the party. So I think one of the goals would be to like get her to like get to know people a bit better. 
-hmm. like I purposely kind of stayed a bit on the sidelines and been a bit quiet and whatever and only really interacted with the kid because you know when they're young it's quite I don't know I mean I'm treating him like a young animal basically yeah I think that's also because well you're the one that had the conversation with him to get the like you were kind of the yeah the, the point where he decided to go on an adventure with you guys yeah I know I know, but what I'm saying is that I know I'm aware of the fact that I've not really interacted with the party much. So mm-hmm. probably like I'll be trying to get to know them a bit better, not necessarily by interacting with them, but then certainly by like keeping an eye on them and how they do and how they react to things, and you know, figuring them out a bit more that way. I think because mm-hmm. I guess one thing I think Arya doesn't do is she doesn't really interact with people well. So we'll see. I don't know. I think that might be a, a goal for me. Okay. Yeah. And what about Crumbar? What's on his mind? Hmm. Food. Glug. Eat kettle of cow. Um. What I'm thinking is, with the goals, if we move up, find out what's happening at the abyss, to the short-term goal, or the, the or the main goal at least. Yeah, and. The other goal would be kind of keep Eremos safe during the exhibition. Or the expedition. expedition. Unless you are going to hold an exhibition. I mean, we could hold an exhibition. Like, I'd, I'd totally be okay. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, I think that would be like a main goal of the party if, uh, you know, we're dragging this kid through... What is yeah, but keep, keep Eremos kind of safe thing. through the... But that's the thing, are you taking him in? Right? Yes. Well, I don't want to leave him alone. I mean, that's a judgment call you'll need to make as a group, I think. What do you guys reckon? Yeah, one of them is as well. Yeah, well, but we'll have that one in game, though, because that's a discussion you will have. I think it was to take a kid into the fiery abyss, but what is. So, I mean, well, that could be a goal. We... It could be decide what to do with Eremos, um, or something related to that, but keep in mind there needs to be an endpoint that involves challenge to get to it. Mm. Um, Eremos in it. <laughs> this one's a bloody challenge. But like, um, I mean, specifically for Crumbar though, what's Crumbar's focus? What's going through his head? Like, are, have you got concerns about what you're about to go into? Have you had concerns for what has happened in the past, um, up until now? Like, do you see what I mean? So, what's what's his driving focus? Not Scott's, Crumbar's. Yeah, I mean, Crumbar obviously being within the Golden Citadel and as a paladin, I think he'd be wanting to drive. The go- whatever the exhibition be- uh, becomes, that will be his kind of main focus. Uh, basically, not let any evil spill out of the abyss. Mm-hmm. Um, and basically, so I'm assuming there's going to be some kind of. That might be a fourth level goal, by the way. Just so you know, that might be an I yeah. rated goal for impossible. But yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but I mean. Or improbable, like, maybe, is a better word. Yeah. Obviously, so- something bad's happening at the abyss, and I think Crumbar would be currently thinking about right. If we're having to go here, something bad's happening, and we need to make sure that it doesn't spill out of the abyss. Would that be right in saying? I mean, is it? Is that what you think's going on? Because what was it um, you got from the hooded woman? Remember the vision? Oh yeah, the vision. Yeah, yeah. And it was just hundreds oh. of things pouring out of a like a big yeah. kind of tear in space. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Welcome, <basically>. Callum. <laughs> <laughs> Especially after what um, you know, after level up and stuff, it's just you cannot let evil succeed, no matter what. So I think. Well, I think as well, like, see, motivationally wise, like, given what you mm-hmm. experienced on the boat on the way over, right? It's maybe an, an excellent reason to explain why you you've leveled up and now have these kind of like specific tenants that you've decided within yourself don't want this type of thing to be in the world you know yeah yeah bad things are bad especially things that have fiery eyes and speak like flames and you know yeah and they're total demons um so yeah, yeah no um let's go for like a kind of personal goal of um ensure exhibition uh, Exhibition to the abyss succeeds. So the expedition. That's what I said. <laughs> yep, yep. 
Cure the expedition <laughs> succeeds. Uh, Reach, what is Reach's goals? Find out more about the kid, uh, his skills, and so on. So, okay. Like, Where do that by hitting him with a hammer? About. Well, he usually opens the... something up to figure out how it works, don't you? Yeah. About the kid. Um, that got dark. Like that's all sounding very grim, guys. So, <laughs> define that a bit more for me. So I've got to learn more about the kid. Give me more def definition to that. Well, his dreams come to life. His uh, notes come back to him in his head, uh, or on his hand. <laughs> in his hand, yeah. At least when they're destroyed, anyway. At least, but maybe other cases as well. Uh, and Ink, yeah, does dances and waterfalls <laughs> and stuff like that in his wrist. So yeah, it's, mm. there's something strange happening. He is also meant to be the ultimate weapon, the one that we're here to find out. So it'd be good to know how to pull the trigger on the ultimate weapon. Mm. Uh, so if we need to. So really, that looks kind of, kind of like, and I know it's not what you said, but I'm reading between lines here. Weaponize the kid is what I'm seeing. Um. I thought I'd said it a lot more PR than... Yeah, than you that. definitely did. You definitely <laughs> did. But I feel like I saw through it. <laughs> right, okay. So, let me just go back through this list, okay? We've got... Getting the party to trust each other. Getting to know each I other better. Yeah? I, hold on, before you carry on. The wizard has weaponized the kid. I'm just figuring out how to use that weapon. <laughs> just, to play, just to cover myself with my <laughs> coat. Like, yeah, go. the wizard king's the dead guy. I'm just the yes. happy guy. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not the people who make the guns that's the problem. It's the people who fire the guns. Oh, wait, no, no, wait. Is that backwards? No, it's the people who make the guns, not the people who fire them. That's the problem. Yeah, okay, Reach. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to change it to Reaching, but anyway. Um... Right, goals. The combination that everybody's mentioned to me, right, we've got um, getting to know each other better, learning to trust each other, making sure the expedition succeeds, and then I'm going to put, like, um, what do you call it, reaches one to the side just now, because those top three all kind of tie in together, right? Because mm -hmm. the expedition's going to succeed better if you all get on the same page. Right, so if you all work together, you all know what each other can do. You all have the same kind of uh, motivations, etc. You know, you have all been put on this quest by uh, the hooded woman. So, and obviously, I know that uh, for the most part, like obviously, Eric has been given slightly different uh, motivations than everybody else who was together. So, yeah. I would say that maybe the goal is something to do with those three merged together for your main goal. Um, you could maybe even merge what's happening at the abyss, you know, in at that. It could be something like um, get everybody through the abyss alive, you know, something like that. Like um, and by that, I mean obviously at the party. Um, mm -hmm. It could be uh, make sure Eremos goes first, you know. It could be. I don't know, like, you just talk to me what, how you want to merge all that, because there's a lot of getting to know each other and trusting each other, focus on your goals, and I don't really want to move into individual goal territory at this point. I want it to still be a main goal for every day. Mm -hmm. So, I have no issue with you wanting to learn more about the kid, but obviously if you pick, let's learn more about the kid as a main goal, and then leave him in the Citadel if that becomes the choice that you do, then... Ain't gonna yeah, that'll right. be quite no, useless. No. Yeah, yeah. So it learn might to be work a, as a team. Yeah, it might be like like learn to work as a team. Did you say? Yeah, yeah. Or improve our team work. That's learn to work as a team. That's effectively what you're saying with the other ones. Like yeah, it's kind of what the, the well, it's not me saying. It's what you said. Um, yeah, yeah. Was it what Eric's goal was? Uh, what was it like trusting, learning to trust every day in the party and bonding with them? Then Arya's was getting to know everybody better. Uh, then Crumbar's was make sure the exhibition succeeds. Um, <laughs> and then yours was weaponize the child. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Crumbar probably also had the wee yeah. extra one. Well, and not so many words. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got. Uh, but the thing is, like, see what like Reach's goal is a better long term goal. Once they, you know, because yeah. like learning more about the kids is an ongoing thing. But at what point do you decide you've learned enough? 
right? Yeah. Like, is it when the kid's dead? Like, what? Like, where's the end? Where, where, when do you cash it in? At that point, yeah. if you see my point. Whereas, um, get what is it? Provoking Eremos to do something like a weapon would be a goal that you could cash in because you prod him, you prod him, you prod him. Wait till he snaps. See what happens. Hurt him with a hammer. Right. So yeah. that would involve some level of challenge, comma cost or fallout. Because it won't always be that the XP will be awarded for something that you had to dice roll your way towards. It might be things where if you lose a lot to have achieved a goal. You know, sacrifice is also valid as a cost to get the XP. Um, but that's why I would say that Reach's goal is probably a better longer term focus. Or at least one that it depends really. Because I think you guys do need to come and come up with a plan about what you are going to do with Aramos and the Golden Citadel and the Expedition. Because... I'm not here to say leave him in the, the Golden Citadel. I, I want him to come with us and use him as a weapon, hopefully. Because that's worked well so far. Like, honestly, I still think that we should just give him a good smack and see what happens. Because I think the whole reason he doesn't like getting touched is because that's his trigger. Or you're an orc. And he's a kid. Or that. And he, he didn't like me touching him. Yeah, no, that, like, freaked out. that's what I mean. It's like maybe like if you, like if you left your hand on him for long enough, he would just like, I don't know, explode. Yeah, who's gonna take? You wanted to take yeah. the chance with that with your yeah. own hands. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. My armor class is high enough, right? <laughs> it's more of a deck save thing that one. Oh, that be that. That that could be a reach thing then. <laughs> It could be explosive ink from inside you as well, so uh, but, uh, mm. I'm clever enough to say stuff like that. When you go, yeah, <laughs> it's like I will be over here in this continent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So again, though, that's all stuff I think you could you could have as a an in, in character conversation in the, the actual play. So what we're going to set the goal for this? Because keep in mind, we can change it at the end of the session as well if you want to update it. Um, so there's no harm in like picking a goal now. Because obviously if you pick something now, we can work on it. And if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And then at the end of the session, we can choose to leave it as is or if we're looking to change it. So, what do you want for now? Mm -hmm. I think so far the summary is getting to know people better, uh, ensure the expedition succeeds, learn to work as a team is I guess the summary of that. Or, I don't know, use teamwork to get through the expedition, something like that. Yeah, I could do. Yeah. Or return from the expedition. I keep wanting to say exhibit now. Um, mm -hmm. X gonna give it to you. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so what? What do you want the wording to be? Because remember, the wording matters. Hmm. Go on, so I still actually think our next goal is to get there. Yeah, there's probably going to be an ex expedition, but uh, we don't know anything about it yet or anything like that. But, uh, mm. That's why we came to this place. I mean, no, you came here because a big giant gold dragon said go there. Oh, yeah, was, that was kind of why you came here. Yeah, yeah it's less to go to the abyss. So big shady gold dragon. I, I mean, Celeste didn't actually say that, no. Um, yeah, she said get the weapon that's a good and bring point. it she's, to her. She's still not been in touch. No, I know. Maybe she's at the abyss. Oh, <laughs> See if she I mean, don't get me wrong, we only have his word that they're actually friends, but we just went along with that. I reckon I mean, the ex-lovers... <laughs> I mean, why would the big gold dragon thing? Is there when... an to that sentence, or because I just said, "Why would a big gold dragon thing?" and then I got nothing. Oh yeah, so why would a big gold dragon thing lie to you? Because he can. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, essentially, if he wanted to, he probably could turn you into soup at a click of his fingers. So. Plus, he's a good guy, right? Generally yeah. considered, at least genuinely and generally considered. A good guy. But what? But what? He's good. Him. Point of view. It's that an alignment choice. It's a nine. It's a nine grid. You've got <laughs> tri neutral. You've got lawful good. You've got chaotic good. 
neutral I mean, good. still a point of view. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't you like chaotic good? Nope, neutral, neutral. chaotic. That's one. Okay. Um, but okay. Anyway, wording for goals. We're running out of time because it's that or we move on without actually having a goal set, and then you still get XP. So. Sure. Thank you, wording. <laughs> Someone good with words do wording things. Uh, sure, I presume the story is going to start with here's your expedition on you go, so that's why you don't want to make that the uh, the goal. But uh, it's, it's not on me. I'm just saying that I don't necessarily think there's a challenge in that unless. Like if you set that as that, it then adds challenge to that event if you want to achieve that. Because keep in mind, if you set a goal and it's, oh, let's get to the library. And then the session says, cool, you're at the library. Because there, there's no reason why that would be difficult. You knew that was my yeah. goal. Was really <laughs> 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 but can you see my point though? Like, yeah. yeah, I would just mean that we've done absolutely nothing of effort to do that. Mm -hmm. then. Hence, we wouldn't really be worth the XP, so yeah. Exactly. So Maybe ensure the expedition succeeds, or lives, or survives. So, by, by that, so what do you mean the expedition? Teamwork, then. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're going to um, the, the abyss. Mm -hmm. So, like, obviously, it's going to be like scary. It's going to be bad guys there. <laughs> Hellfire, demons, you know. Cool, I have a hammer, we're fine. <laughs> we have a paladin that's sworn to vengeance with us, we, we'll be fine. But, like, yeah, there'll be, like, evil. Well, there's gonna be evil stuff there. We get, like, possibly gonna be fighting. I say possibly with the intent of, though, probably will be fighting. I can guarantee um, it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> there's surely, uh, we need to, like, the expedition needs to survive in some sort of extent. Well, you'd hope somebody came back from it, right? Since you are all people going on it, so... Well, not just us, because us coming out of it, it yeah, yeah, it's cool, but, like, maybe trying to make sure some of the expedition lives, not letting so them I think, all die. Mm -hmm. I think, actually, our goal right now would be to find out more about, you know, the abyss, people that have gone to the abyss, what they've been done here, there, what they've achieved, you know, giving us maybe an idea of, of what, you know, the next bit in our expedition should be, because otherwise we'd just be walking in blind. So I think the most important thing right now is to, like, talk to the people that are maybe maybe at the edge of the abyss somehow, maybe the closest actual place to the abyss that is in the abyss, and find out from them, you know, how to prepare ourselves and how to you know what other information we might have useful i think that might that should be our goal for the session but now it depends to what other people think yeah, not yeah. Bad one. gap it intel on the abyss so yeah what's the thoughts on that then every day i'm down with it yeah i'm down with that it's only good actually what wording do you want gap it intel on abyss cool uh, that'd be like an easy goal, as far as I'm concerned. Cool. Yeah, but I feel there's something that it's like, still it's, story it's achievable. We should yeah. Be doing anyway. mm -hmm. No, I think it's good, and it's this is kind of why I want this discussion to be a thing as part of our game, because it pulls you guys into like a focus to think what actually sh what do we need to succeed going forward. So regardless of getting to the abyss, learning more about it. Yeah, sure, etc., etc., etc. Yeah. So got it until on Abyss. Sure. And luckily enough, one of the closest places to the Abyss is the Golden Citadel. Yeah. How handy. As I said, we can review obviously that, that goal at the end, etc. And we shall see. Uh, yeah. Everybody happy with that? Yeah. yeah. Last chance to change the wording? Yeah, I the word hammer. Where though? Ga just gather just hammer intel on the Abyss? Hammer, yeah, gather yeah. intel on the abyss. Gather yeah, intel on. Uh, gather uh, intel on the effectiveness of hammers with it against the monsters that are in the the abyss. Eh? <laughs> That's just Crumbar's thesis for when he wants to get his doctorate in a uh, hammer. <laughs> gather hammer on the effectiveness of hammer. Can he? Can he read hammer. and write though? Yeah, Crumbar. Mm -hmm. Of course he can. 
I tactically put the hammer inside of the uh, the object. How much hammer will <laughs> Hey, he's part orc. orc. It's a valid question. That's oh. actually. You've only been not part of an orc raiding party for a few years, from what I gather. That's quick learning in the Golden Citadel, wherever it was you were. Yeah. Are we all having a a smart bash against uh, Procrumber here? Come on, yeah. guys. Come hey, on. Use your better than this. All I'm going to say is you don't Well, get, I uh, heard the word dissertation, so that's why I thought, hmm. <laughs> you, you don't get an intelligence at eight without learning a couple this of is when, This is when you get Professor Crumber <laughs> at the end of the game. <laughs> 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 Teaching all the new recruits. Now, back in my day, we used real hammers. <laughs> Taking <laughs> selfies for everyone. <laughs> hey, do you want one of me? I'm Ant Man. Spoilers. Yeah, um, I know. I well, completely lost my train of thought. Then. What we're going to do is we're going to just kickstart and jump into the game. I think is what we're going to do because we've got a goal set. So I'm happy. Yeah. Ooh. Let's. So let's, let's. session opens. Giant golden gates. Obviously. Uh, right. These are approaching on the camels. Okay. Oh yeah, camels. I forgot about the camels. Yep. Yes. And uh, as you approach, there is. How could you forget about Karen? Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Karen. There's um, somebody kind of like sitting at the side of the gates with like their kind of knees up to their chest, kind of just l leaning back, like relaxing against uh, the outside of the walls. Like there's nobody else outside the walls. They're all kind of like just again huge, kind of big citadel. As I said before, uh, and then you spot this person off in the distance, like against the actual gates. Are you just gonna approach up to the gates, uh, or does anybody wanna perceive a person more in depth, or is everybody happy just to? Yeah. Yeah. Roll insight to see who he is, or what he is, or anything about him. Oh, the perception. Is, oh, is that perception? Ah, yes. Yeah, so, so okay. who, who wants to roll perception and who wants to assist in rolling? I mean, realistically, perception is a weird one for that. Does everybody just want to roll? And I'll just tell the the one person who yeah. gets the best one. I'm not a big fan of everyday rolling skill checks, but this one makes the most sense that everybody rolls it. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> I am perceptive. Yeah, you've got, I am not. You've got cloudy vision. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, surely this was on the boat as well where I failed at this time. You're bad at looking. We've noticed that. Yeah, charisma is your main stat as well, isn't it? Well, perception's yeah. wisdom. Yeah. yeah wisdom. Oh, wisdom's my main. Oh, so you're old persuasion. Reach. So I did. I was wondering there, right? Yeah. Okay. I saw, I saw charisma beside it, but okay. Right. And Arya, uh, do you need one of us to roll for or are you good? Uh, no. No, you're good. You got an 11. Good. Damn. Yep, yep. So, it's fine, we got you. <laughs> Sorry, I realised afterwards I was rolling with advantage, but yeah. That's okay, That's got, okay. We, we got you. Um, it's easy enough to see the results. So, for the most part, also, what random noises are coming from the background of used to? Uh, music's going up. Mm. There we go. How the West was won is quite kind of appropriate at the moment. What's the point of time in the West, I mean? Uh, anyway, carry on. Oh. But yeah, so we've got a, I believe, Reach and Crumbar, full enough. Which I guess kind of makes it appropriate that the two paladins yeah, of the Golden yeah. Citadel spot the weird thing about the Golden Citadel. Um, mm. Yeah, so as you are a fair bit away, um, maybe like a 10 minute camel ride away, uh, you spot this figure, kind of just sat down against the wall, essentially. The Citadel. Um, they look like a kind of brightly coloured messenger. Uh, quite jester esque, you know, like funny kind of hat with all the kind of points coming out of it. Um, face We've makeup. Found a court fool. Yeah, a bit like a court fool, yeah. Um, with like a kind of messenger bag around them. Uh, mm. So, do you use. Obviously, I don't know what uh, the other two are doing to not have really been paying attention. Maybe Arya's playing with the Ruya, and uh, mm. obviously... Yeah, I'm just like tossing something in the air and she's just catching it, mm -hmm. kind of like a game of fetch. Excellent. I'm struck by awe by the giant golden gates. 
I mean, there's quite a big bit to take in, right? So yeah, it makes sense that you'd be staring at everything but the fact that there's somebody sat outside, which isn't necessarily unusual for you, who has never been here before. Because <laughs> I believe only the two that actually did well in their scores actually have been here before, so... Yeah, it's quite, quite good, that. Yep. Um, so he cool. has a met. So is he a messenger or is he just? He's got a messenger, a messenger bag. Messenger. Yeah, but he's yeah. not a golden messenger, isn't he? He's yeah, not he's, he's not like. Generally, messengers are like peasant kids that get paid buttons to run around like crazy. You know? Uh, but they don't wear justice hats. No. Yeah. Maybe unusual. Mm. Right. Go up to him, ask him. Whoa. <laughs> what's Hello, your what you do here? Yeah, what's your business? That's a good one. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, so he's all approached the gates, uh, and then just got off the camels or stay on them or what? Stay on them. Camel superiority. <laughs> yeah. Cool. He uh, looks up, blinks a couple of times, rubs his eyes, almost kind of like a mime that way, very over-exaggerated movements, and then stands up, like fixes his outfit, uh, dusts himself off a bit, because it's obviously desert everywhere. And then he looks up, and then he's doing that thing where he's like ex leaning over to one side on one foot and stuff to try and take in everybody that's in the caravan of camels. And then uh, he says, I have letters. And he reaches into his uh, messenger bag and pulls out envelopes. And then hands one up to you, Reach. Okay, so got my name on it. Uh, there's a seal, so it's like an envelope, there's a seal on it, um, and then on the other side it says Dawn's Golden Reach. Yeah, right, cool. Okay. And then open he does the off. same for everything. Bear with right. me. So, as you go to open it, it doesn't budge. Who sent these letters? Who are these letters from? So, while you're kind of struggling to open your envelope, this is when he goes round everybody else and hands them each envelope. Uh, so, oh, so we all get envelopes. Yep, so he, he leans yeah. over, gives one to Crumbar, it says Crumbar Dinebic on it, and it's got a seal on it as well. Same with uh, Arya Bluebird, and Lord Eric Rainwood, and Kitty Lakil. But I'll speak to Sophie about hers more <laughs> when she's actually here. And yeah, so everybody gets a letter. Uh, Eremos doesn't get one, and neither does Arnold. And then obviously you try and like open your letter, obviously reach, and uh, you can't get so it. So I opened. think it's very clear who those letters are from. A golden dragon, possibly, or Celeste. It's one and of uh, you then say to the, the kind of jester, it's like, who are these from, or who's this from? Yeah, yeah. And then the kind of jester is kind of like making faces at Eremos, who's obviously sat in front of you. Um, when he's like, okay. his attention's obviously been like drawn to you. And then he just kind of smiles and tilts his head. And he says, uh, From the princess. And he just grins a really big, creepily big grin. Mm. And then he kind of just like jingles from like foot to foot and then stares at Eremos and then kind of like smiles again as if he's trying to make the kid laugh. Well, excuse me, princess. Like Wait, it, it, where's good luck with... Like, it kind of comes off more creepy than it does, like, funny as well. Is this Princess Jastoria, then? That's what I was trying to find out on the name, yeah. I mean, Which one was that? I'm just going to ask. Is it Jastoria? Oh. And a finger comes up into the air and points and goes, Princess! <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> And he kind of draw, he draws you like a yeah. dirty look as well, but you'd like it's like a split second and it, it vanishes to like a smile again. Crumbar just looks at him like princess and just kind of gestures for him to kind of keep going. And then he's like, "See, that one gets it," and points over to Crumbar. I hate this guy more than Eremos. And then the guy like goes. Those letters will open when the time is right. And he bows uh, and then vanishes in like a puff of like smoke and like a pop and like an almost whiz noise. Very, so very almost like ridiculous teleporting nonsensey bullshit. 
Can I just ask to refresh my memory? Who was the Princess Gestoria? Daughter of the Wizard King. Yeah, but she's kind like, of like, first in her hand. Right. So she's a big deal then. Yeah, where is that in our list, by the way? Because I can't even find it. Uh, see on here, there's a... In the journal, there is game info and icons. What are you looking at? So it's in the... Rule 20? Yeah. Or drive? Is that in, the drive? In the Rule 20. Alright. You've got the icons list in game info under the journal tab. Brian. There you go. Did Eremos get a letter as well? No. Eremos and Arnold didn't get one. Eremos and who? Arnold. The paladin. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, I just don't know what you said. That's just every day um, it's with you right now. Right. Um, so, uh, Crumbar turns around to. I Eremos. turn around to Eremos yeah. and. Yeah. Um, and ask him. Um, Eremos, did you. Do you know Princess Gestoria? He kind of just looks over at you. And he's like, no, do you? I know of her. She's uh, quite a big deal in this planet. <laughs> world. <laughs> yeah. World. I don't know. I, I don't want to say world because that implies it's flat, does it? No. I don't know. No. Not really. You can get around worlds. Yeah. No, wait. Not at all. We have one. Um... Controversial I opinion, know. I know, but is is this world flat? I don't y know. You don't know, so you wouldn't say planet. That's for sure. Yeah, because a planet would be flat. World. Maybe when you're a professor, Crumbar, we can have that conversation about planets. Okay. <laughs> professor Crumbar. That's your long, Doctorate long term goal. Doctorate of astrology. Oh, that's a long term goal knowing. for you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's all I want. My doctorate in planetary exploration or whatever. <laughs> Back in the moment. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so you say she's I, a big deal. Mm. And then almost just kind of sits and thinks about it for a second. Well, kind of like on this camel. <laughs> and mm. he's like, okay. Like he doesn't really know what to do with the conversation anymore. All right, okay. That's, um, but yeah, like uh, it's, it's, it's almost uh, like uh, you have just informed him that there is a princess. <laughs> all right. I uh, just go back to my letter and try and open it with my teeth and just keep gnarling at it to try and get into it. Yeah, like it doesn't happen. <laughs> just doesn't happen. Yeah, nope. I I, ca I continue to gnarl at my letter. Does it? Does he damage the letter at all? No, nope. he's gnarling at it with his teeth. Not right. I want to put mine just uh, in my pocket next to my heart, right? So in case anybody tries to shoot me. <laughs> <there. laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, give me your letters. I'll keep them for safekeeping. I've made a fetching <laughs> dinner jacket. Yeah. <laughs> Rach, why is your armor made of letters? Oh, you'll see. <laughs> Pen mightier than many sorts. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Our muscles right. See? Kid's right. But not invited to whatever this is, obviously. <laughs> you know? It's clearly an executive party. Anyway, I think we're carrying on in anyway, because I think we've, yeah. Cool. So he's head up, Arnold gets off his camel, goes, knocks on the, the gate, gate's open, he's head in, bam. He's all kind of head into the, again, it's almost like a kind of small city, to be honest, in here. Um, as I said, the citadel's pretty huge, as you may remember from the art I stole from somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> from that art that I totally didn't. You know, no, I totally, totally stole from somewhere. Yep, mm. <laughs> I wish I was this good. Uh, and thank you, random citizen. Thank you too. Um, yep. Yeah, so he's heading. Uh, yeah, and then Arnold obviously is wondering why. Like, what do you just want to do? Do you just want to settle in first, or what? Like, because it has obviously uh, been like a day of riding, right? So, right. So I'm guessing we'd be staying at like the main barracks. Place. This is a barracksy place. The whole thing. Right. So, just when you said it was like a city, I thought you meant like the. Yeah. Oh, so there, there is no civilians in here. 
as right, such. Right, right. Like, but the we'll place has enough resources to be like a small, like, city. Yeah. Yeah. Crumbar wants to nap. Yep, cool. So you just head to, like, kind of sleeping quarters, essentially. Yeah. Settling. Well, yeah. Why does everyone else feel like that? Well, actually, well, no, we need a sign in first, as such. We need to go to the, the head boss. Would, would we not be best to? Mm. Yeah, that's a good point, actually, yeah. That's what Arnold yeah, was asking. That's our arrival. That is what Arnold yeah. was asking. Like, if he's wanted to sign in, or if he's were wanting to just go rest. Sign in, then probably go rest. Tell them first that we're here, yeah. Cool, Adrian, yep. would you, you reckon just go sign in? Yeah. So, I think you're on mute and death there, eh, are you? So, essentially the conversation there was... Apologies, yes, I received the call. That's okay. Oh, no worries. Essentially the gist of it was, uh, you've got into the gates of the Citadel, it's like a small city. Um, so it is huge inside, but not city size, just big enough that if you had to, you know, be a city, you could obviously pull it off. Uh, but they're saying, go rest up or go check in first, or anything else, viable options. What's uh, I think the plan was just go sign in and then go rest. Any objections? Nope. How are you? Nope. Sounds good. No, good, that's good, good. exactly what I'd expect to happen. Good, good. Who's going to go and report in, then? I thought we all would. Yeah. <laughs> definitely myself and Crumb, at least. Yeah, I, we definitely have. Mm -hmm. I mean, it'd be kind of bad really if we didn't. Naughty, but yeah. Yep. So, you said all the way up, uh, and then... Yeah, let me just... Might as well just leave this page up. This page is perfectly fine. Um, yeah, it's quite a nice. Nice wee change from the the world map. But yeah, so you head up. Uh, you get to... As I said, you go through, like... The equivalent of, like, streets within the place. Um, towards, like, the kind of central building. Of the entire kind of, like, complex, as it were. Head inside. And you're in like the kind of foyer of the place with the a kind of office. And this is where the, the high commander of the Citadel operates. So remember as I said before, you've got commanders of all this kind of, you know, Citadel outposts from around like usually one in every city. And then you've got the high commander who's in charge of the commanders who operates from the Citadel. And then the high commander's boss is the Great Gold Worm. And that's the hierarchy of the Golden Citadel. God Dragon, High Commander, all of the commanders, and then the paladins beneath the commanders. So yeah. Uh, he's got, and there is a paladin standing there uh, at the desk. A kind of red-headed dwarf lady. Is that Bob the Dwarf? No. Aww. It's not. <laughs> Is that what you just say, though? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be funny, but I think a, a dwarf would beat me up. Mm. Definitely. Also, I should probably have typed this in for my own sanity. Session 9 has started. Several... Several, several bits ago. So here we are. We're here now. But yeah, so what do you do? So obviously reaching Grumbo officially can sign in. Yeah. Do the rest of us, well, me, Arya, and Irma sign in as guests or some kind I don't know, you just tell me. What do you do? Like, I mean, you are in a room. They'll stay with the Zen. We, we go up to the main dude and go... Uh, reach and crumber reporting. Uh. Then she kind of just looks up um, from like a kind of wood carving that she's doing. And she just like nudges with her elbow like a big golden tome that's lying open. With, like a quill and a bottle of ink sitting next to it. Right, open up, right. sign my name. Yeah, it's it's lying open anyway, so yeah, and it's just like right. a big ledger, obviously. Um, yeah. Ask, uh, I'm saying my name, ask her uh, 
Yeah. Are we? Ex we should be expected. And she kind of looks up at you and she's like, "By who?" Uh, what's this? She's got a slightly kind of Nordic -y sound to her voice as well. I can't do that as an accent, I, but I, I just kind of butt in and go, "We were sent there by the Great Gold Worm for the expedition." That's that cool. And then she stops whittling at that point, and she's like, she looks at everybody, obviously, who's standing behind you guys. She's like, all of you? Yes, yes. all of us. I give a little wave. <laughs> and she's like. I only thought seven of us were going. How many's in our party? Four? Five, six, seven? Wait, what? Seven. Yeah. Bastard, um, this tricks us! Arnold and the five of us, so yeah. And our must, if we're taking them. Yeah. Mm. And she okay. kind of like... She kind of scowls a bit. And she's like... Why? Who else is expect is expected to go? You know how things are. Seven, etc. She kind of nods at you, Crumber, and then uh, she's like, "So seven paladins have been chosen to go." Who are the other paladins that are supposed to be going? And she says, "Like, she's like well, me for one." Hmm. Well, we need our team, uh, so uh, um, all of us are going. Uh. This team was chosen by the Great Gold Worm himself, so... Roll deception. Good Roll deception. It wasn't really. Uh, uh, nope, that complete lies. So. Nope, he didn't. Nope. He sent you two. He just said he didn't care what the rest did. So he did, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Unless you want to change what you said. <laughs> I can't see the set. Yeah, I, I no. see that. <laughs> right. it, the great gold wow. one didn't. Oh, yeah, the great gold one didn't uh, say nobody could come. Everybody, not everybody could come. No, but Crumbar said to her that the great gold one chose all of you, which is a lie. Yeah. So she just looks at you and she's like, "Nah, nah, I don't think so, mate. No," and just like pulls the book yeah. closer to herself, what? and she's like. like what? Now she's ignoring you, well, and then she's like, yeah, well, <laughs> like she's she's pulling the book towards, uh, and she's like, no, 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 you can you can clear this with a high commander, and just like thumb she's through the doors, at their side, right, okay. but used to, and she puts like her kind of like two fingers pronged out to like point to like both Crumbar and Reach, these civilians, they can wait here with me. No, don't be with the dwarf, please. My well, <laughs> colleague's then. mistaken. Anyway, technically it was Celeste that chose us. But the gold worm, the great gold worm, didn't disagree. Are you saying this to her, yeah? Yes. Who's Celeste? Great gold worm's friend. Yeah, they're not gonna know any of this. They don't know who that is. Uh, My orders are seven paladins go. Those are not paladins, and she just points vaguely at the group. Uh, to be honest, we are dressed in the gear. We are dressed yeah. all in like head yeah. to toe gold gear. So how's she to know we're not I'm actually not. paladins? Yeah, I wonder Shut how up. she knows. Like, I wonder. Yeah. Anyway, we'll clear this up with your boss and we'll get these uh, civilians deputized. She just kind of she looks at you, Reach. General insight. Yeah. Me, insight. IG, beans, me, night. Oh. Shit. No, you don't know if she wants to jump you or jump you. <laughs> okay. But she has a look that you're not sure if you should be scared of, or if she One just wants to fight you. Predatory. Yeah. <laughs> um, I turn round to her and go, "Well, can I ask how did you know that they aren't paladins? How do you even know who I am?" So she looks like she wants to jump you, but you're not really sure which way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm a monk. I probably wouldn't be too sure. <laughs> it's alright, man. You've got dodge rolls. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Disengaging Sorry, dodge as a bonus action. Um, Sorry, Ryan. What did she say? Uh, she says, do you even know who I am? 
Should I? Do we? Can we roll perception for that? Because we've been It would here. be history. 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 Yep, right. and you can both roll it if you want, yeah. Cool, what? thanks. Oh! Boom! Ooh. <laughs> I have a feeling. Uh, yeah, so, Crumber, this is maybe why you've your kind of interactions have been... Uh, besides the, the part where you just lied to her, um, hoping, and maybe that's why you attempted God, to lie to her. Don't tell me this is my ex-wife or something. No. <laughs> I feel like you should have known that without having to roll. Uh, <laughs> how many I wives know. have I had? Crumbar <laughs> drinks a lot. No, like, Crumbar, this is a... She's kind of dubbed the Quartermaster, but that's not her job. Her job's to... She's a head of personnel is the best way to put it. She make she's the one. She's basically yeah, like she's HR. She's HR for the Golden Citadel. She is the one that says you're a paladin when it's not the Great Gold Worm that says it. So she's the one that stamped your papers, both Reach and Crumber. Great. Yeah. Um, so like, see when Reach turns up on the doorstep of the Citadel, she's like, right, cool. I'll put him in the ledger. Um. Which meant you then were granted the protection of the Citadel, blah blah blah. Uh, and then obviously Crumbar, when Crumbar yeah, turned up it was like, hey, he'll be useful. Stamp. I was a young kid at the time, so I might not know. But yeah. yeah. It's like, Crumbar just turns to... Hey, sorry, I just turned to her. Let's go. Oh, so you know, you know her name's Broga as well, Bro- def- with Broga. that role. Yeah. But yeah. as I said, she's dubbed the uh, the Quartermaster, but Broga. Yeah. Um, so it's a... Uh, I'll write that in the the chat. Ah, uh, if, if you could. So I just turn to her and go, Broga, seriously? Are you trying to tell me you know every single paladin? By name, height, what diseases they don't like? Yep. <sighs> dwarfs. And just kind of... Uh, and as soon as you say dwarfs, she actually like slams the, the desk and stands up and goes, what do you, what, what do you mean, dwarfs? You mean stands up on the desk? You mean on the desk? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Stands up like <laughs> from the desk. It's like, and just, what do you mean, dwarves? Crumbar just looks at and goes, You are as stubborn as you are, short, and just storms off towards the high captain's office. Yeah, so as you start walking, mm-hmm. you get stopped. And she's holding on to the back of you. <laughs> and then she kind of just drags you back a step so that you're in the front of her again. And then grabs her chest. And like kind of pulls it down so you're eye level with her. Uh oh. Shit going down. And she says. From, uh, right, so right, so right. she says. Watch it. And just stares at you. With like a kind of. A weird grin. But again. Not the same predatory grin she gave Reach. Just a kind of a grin of. She would love you to pick a fight with her. Crumbar <laughs> just. Like, so I just grin back at her and go over paladins. We watch for everything. Crumbar, stop playing with the quarter staff and come let's see the boss. <laughs> the quarter staff, the quartermaster. The quarters. <laughs> 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 on the position again. It wasn't quarter staff. The quartermaster. <laughs> quartermaster. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> I, if you think about it, a quartermaster is, is a good title for her considering yeah, she's a dwarf. Uh, she's a quarter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I mean, really, I mean, what level of uh, the hierarchy is she in? So she might be fourth in line, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But anyway, like, uh, uh, yeah, so as you have that exchange and you say we watch for everything, she kind of like smacks your cheek a little bit twice uh, on the, on your face and he goes, there's a good orc. And he kind of nods in that kind of, hmm, kind of rosy cheeks way and then just goes back behind the desk. Go report in. She just... Bar just kind of grips his hammer tightly with that kind of, I want to smack a bitch look that goes across his face and goes, fine, I'll go, to, I'll go see the boss and just storms off. Now, can Reach and Crumbar roll a d20? A d20? Yeah. I believe I can. What one's a d20? A 20 sided dice. <laughs> oh, fuck. Dude. Yeah, neither of you have oh, ever met not. the High Commander. Really? Yeah, really. Mm, like, why would you, though, right? Because no. I used to live here. Yeah, but it's a city, so... True, yeah, yeah there is a lot of... Have you ever lived here. in London and met the mayor? Probably not. Well, so, actually, well, actually... Oh, here we go, it's a well, actually. 
<laughs> well, actually, only replaced well, by actually, uh, technically. <laughs> <laughs> Sliding door to well, I haven't met the mayor, but I am the mayor. Ha ha ha! Pulls out fake mustache. <laughs> fake mustache. Like <laughs> twiddles it in finger. All mayors have mustaches. Everyone knows it. My uh, mayor doesn't. Then it's you... such a good thing we don't have audio because you guys because we don't have video because you guys can't see me how just how much I'm rolling my eyes. Right? Yeah, <laughs> I was I was really hoping to God you were going to say how much I'm drawing on a mustache. I mean, there we all have different hopes. So you, uh, I, as I said, that's what that rolls for. I was like, for me, it doesn't really matter if he's have or haven't met, but I just wanted to put it to like a random chance because it makes it more interesting yeah. if we have to come up with a, a reason. But no, so you have never met the high commander before. Um, okay. Like as I said, you've sort of maybe met. Well, in fact, I think you've only met the one commander actually, haven't you? The the one that was in yeah. Glitterhagen. So, and you haven't really specifically went through other cities. And even if you did, you might just have been put in with other paladins to go do something, not necessarily to ever really speak to the commanders. So yeah. But you just haven't met this the actual boss, as it were, besides the boss boss, you know. Which isn't bad, I feel like you've trumped that, you know. High, what's the High Commander going to be like by comparison to the Great Gold Worm? You know, second fiddle, right? Yeah, so. exactly. But yeah. So yeah, you just um, use head straight in, yeah? Or use knock? Knock, I think. Knock. Especially since it's someone we've not met. Mm. But yeah, so go through the big double gates, uh, or double doors I should say. Uh, and then there's just like a big long, 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 long hallway. So, are you saying anything to everybody else? Um, or are you... I thought they were coming with us. Nah, no, we're staying there. with a dwarf. Oh yeah, that's right, you are staying with the dwarf. Um, is Arnold yes. going with Kumbar Reach? Arnold's not here. Oh, where is he? Where is he? he bailed. Bastard. He'll have to he do something. He, he's racist towards dwarfs, so he couldn't stay. So is there a moss with me and Arya then? Well, Amos was always with, uh, he was riding with Reach originally, and then you just got off your camels and all walked in as a group, and at that point, I think, oh. Arnold probably took all the camels away, and then that was it. I feel like I can't really say anything, considering I stormed off towards the mm -hmm. door. Amos, David, Arya, and Eric, there, please, we'll be back soon. Does it oh. Eric or Arya say anything back to Reach, after being told almost nothing except, wait there, we'll be back soon? Bye then. <laughs> Good luck. Yep. Well, we would have heard a bit. We would have heard a bit about you know them saying you know you're not paladins get out of you know. So I think. Why you roll perception kind of and we'll find out. out sorting out. Roll perception. Okay. We'll see yeah. how much yeah. you heard. Yeah. Both of us. Uh, if you want to have listened to, yeah, sure. I'm not sure of that. Say, Enda gets a a fifteen or better. Ever. Uh, well, I mean, I won't listen in. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. I don't think I've been particularly perceptive at all. Yeah, but what will happen is the game will build you up and you'll get to a point where you definitely... Right, so no, you just didn't. You got a 7, sadly. Nope, what, I'm deaf. What? I'm just oh. looking around and looking at the pretty things. What about Eremos? Did he hear it? I mean, you stormed off to the door. I mean, would that matter? Obviously, I know, since I'm playing Eremos. <laughs> but why would he say anything? Do you see what I mean, Scott? Mm -hmm. um, like I've reached. You need to stop assuming that the kid would actually be helpful. Like <laughs> honestly. Yeah, I really, I, 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 I yeah, that's a what very. What part of your history experience with some major? <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> this I is a cup. A... My favorite scene. <laughs> oh my god! I want to punch him in the face. Oh, so good. Honestly, guys, I'm not gonna lie. Seeing at least the next three to five seasons, season sessions, sessions the exhibit happen. <laughs> the exhibit of Crumbar <laughs> punching child in face shall happen. Here's a paladin yes. falling from grace. Yeah. See, in real life, you don't work with kids, do you? It's all adults, yeah. No, not since the court order. <laughs> yeah, I was just wondering. <laughs> For the interest in not losing our one fan. Um, <laughs> that is a joke, <laughs> made in poor taste. So anyway, um, right, so, no, Ermos doesn't say anything. Ermos uh, stands with his chest puffed out in front of Arya, because Reach said, stay with Arya. Right, cool. So he's yep. acting all protective. 
which is adorable. Yep. In a, oh, I'm a lot more deadly than you are, kid, but whatever. <laughs> like, oh, I will fuck Maybe you. Maybe well, what <laughs> you think. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you head through. Um, big doors close behind you. Do that kind of ominous kachum thing down the echoey hallway. And then there's just like, almost like the kind of long, kind of marbleized floor on the very far side. There's another set of doors. Um, as you just walk towards them, do you say anything to each other about whatever? That dwarf annoys me. First time I remember meeting her, but yeah, she's definitely not the diplomat in here. Mind you, you're definitely not the diplomat in here <laughs> as well. <but laughs> I just kind of turn to reach and like can I give him a big grin and be like, why do you think they kept me in the dungeons? Yes. <laughs> sorry. Right. Sorry, I mean, why do you think they kept me working in the dungeons? Yep, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thanks for the clarity. Yeah, I just thought I'd caught, yeah. <laughs> Again, for the one fan. That one fan, thank you. Um, I remain nameless for legal reasons. Um, but yeah, so yeah, you just head up to the, the doors and then you just knock again or push through them. This is his personal door, as far as we're concerned. Uh, yeah, yeah, aye, it seems to be. Well, knock. Yep. Yeah, and then the door is open. Uh, doors open automatically, and there is a like a like a an armored man standing. Well, you assume it's a man, an armored figure standing, uh, and is holding a sword, like a big great sword, and he is fighting what seems to be golden light holding what looks like a sword made of light. Now, see the fight? Does it look like it's like an actual full-on fight? Or oh yeah, like, like, a kind of like the room looks like it's been trashed. <laughs> it's like a huge big kind of circular right. office thing. Think Oval Office-esque, you know, like roughly that size. Right. Um, and the place is just kind of trashed. More so, I'm thinking, right, paladins use light as a weapon, mm -hmm. you know, light is the form of good normally. Mm -hmm. If a giant beam of light is fighting him, mm -hmm. I'd be more tempted to side with the light. I wouldn't. I think it's just training, but still, we could err on the side of caution and go in and help him, I think. But... I mean, we could ask what's going on. I mean, what do you do? Do you like so you're standing in the doorway? Doors are la like set open, and you're staring at someone who is in mid fighting, uh, like a being a of light. Saber. Essentially, yeah, a, a light wielding light knight with a light saber. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, see, do you need aid? Pull grandma of core stuff. And uh, I think at that point, like um. They both the both figures just stop, kind of like mid, you know, one of their swords over the other person's sword, holding it down by the side as they both struggle, blah blah blah, and they both stop and look, and then uh, the one in armor just like waves his hand over the the one with light and it vanishes. Cool. So they were just sparring. Them. And he says, "Paladins," and then he just like puts his other hand up and clicks his fingers, and the room fixes itself. I could do what? with that. Cheeky penis, so could I. So, like, the bookshelf that's wrecked, like, all the books just, like, s go back into the shelf. Uh, papers from them go back in. Like, broken shelves mend themselves. Yep. Is this Mary Poppins' husband? Who knows? <laughs> is this Yondu from Guardians? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so... He's, he's got a Mohawk. <laughs> but, yeah, so... And he's in his full suit of armour. And he says, Speak... You hear kind of through like a slightly metal voice. I'm Reach. This is Crumbar. We've just came from across the seas on the Golden Worm's orders with our colleagues. And like the so the, the figure puts like a sword in his uh, scabbard, and then it kind of just disappears in gold light. His sword disappears. Yeah, he puts his sword into oh, the scabbard, and the whole thing vanishes in golden light. 
No, sorry, I thought you said he does. He does like, <laughs> Bye. What, what a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Announce yourself. It's like, all right, cool. Uh, bye. Yeah, it turns out you're in the danger room. Sorry, like. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, and then he kind of like gestures to seats that appear out of golden light, and he goes and sits at the other side of the desk. Hmm. I sit down. Yeah. Yeah, I go sit down the side as well. And then uh, as you sit, or like, kind of, you haven't sat yet, but like as you're kind of sitting down, he just cuts in with, so you're joining the expedition. Well, most of us are, apparently. We've been ordered by the gold worm to go to the abyss. Uh, we have colleagues with us uh, who have been helping us. Colleagues? So Yes, colleagues. Uh, not member of the Golden Order, but the Great Gold Worm did not refuse their coming. Hey, the kind of the figure kind of like leans back, and you hear like all the bits of the armor move against each other. And uh, yeah, and it's like, hmm. In fact, do I have? Let me go actually show you this this person. Let's see. That one. There you go. Wow. That, that is so dark, mm. so I love it. Um, if we need to, you're taking them on, right? <laughs> I'll go for his glowy sword. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Oh, I could take him on. <laughs> yeah, so that's like how it's And yeah, it's like, because like, the, the Golden Order's like, fancy armour has loads of red robe parts to it and everything. Um, it's all very, very fancy, like red tabards and such under all the gold plating. It's kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, so he sits and he's like, Civilians, you mean? Yes, I do. They were chosen to come with us by... Now, can you roll insight for me with each on that? Because yeah. I want to give you more, if I can, <laughs> on the way he says that. Oh, I think you can. Yeah. He means, are they part of anyone else's army? Is the right. hint there? Like he right. means, are they civilians though? Not right. the Wizard King's right. armies, or right. the Dwarf King's armies, or the Elf Queen's armies. Right. Do you want yeah. to roll insight as well then? If if you think you could have a chance of picking up, yeah, go for it. No. Well, right. uh, you know he's hinting at more, but you don't know what. Right. Can the, I? Oh. Well, they are pure civil. They are free civilians. Uh, technically, do they have any? Uh, <laughs> you don't know them well enough, really, do you? <laughs> I don't really. But I'm just trying to think if they. Uh, can I just, just can I just can... interrupt him halfway through this and be like, yeah. "If you mean can they fight, I can vouch for them. They can fight. They can fight, and they haven't fought for the Wizard King or anyone else." I mean, like as you say, like the wizard king, he just kind of puts his hand up to kind of like wave it off, almost. Um, Bad words. And he right. says, "They will be your responsibility." We are, they I'm are happy they are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he says, and he stands up and like can just puts like a fist on the desk, kind of in a dismissive way, and says. How long will you need to be ready? The expedition is good to go as of one day from now. Do you require we longer? A night's rest. I think we're ready, aren't we, Crumba? I, I agree. Night's rest. However, what exactly is this expedition for? There's a disturbance within the abyss. We're going to find out exactly the nature of that disturbance. So hopefully you're going to help me answer your question. So it's just a fact-finding mission you're on? That's everything we know. Ask if they know anything about the abyss. What, sorry? What Ask do you know about the abyss at the moment? And like the armor is like head tilts as if that's a strange question. Um, was in like terrain, what kind of monsters will be fighting? Demons and spiky and demons. Get intel. And he kind of looks at you and says, 
I forget how you were raised, Don's Golden Reach. And you can tell there's almost like a, an apology in there. You know the way he says that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because he forgets that most people are brought up with kind of like stories of oh don't uh, like you know things from the abyss will come get you blah 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 you know and that's kind of a thing that people are raised with like you know especially from the nearby southern kind of like villages and towns and such yeah. obviously it's cause I'm kind of nearby ish but not mm -hmm. really well like you know you grew up near the yeah. nearest by but obviously you grew up in the citadel not specifically yeah. around people that would romanticize or ghost story it, if that makes sense yeah. um yeah. plus you trained right. in the monastery of the citadel as opposed yeah, and to, for years after that, basically. and then you went to the celestial nexus because some woman in a hood told you to go, and then you spent eight years there, and yeah, I mean these things happen. Yeah. Um, Ryan, me, yeah, have me or Reach been to the abyss before? No, not at all. Cool. No, yeah. Um, right. Why don't both of you roll history before he answers the question? Boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. I hate rolling history. Minus one, oh dear. Mm. Right. It's okay. Um, Punchy, but Reach, you know people have went to the abyss, and not, they don't often come back. That's very few expeditions are actually sent to the abyss. It's more of a kind of quarantine effort, if that makes sense, than a, yeah. you know, extermination effort. Um, mm. Perhaps. Um, you know that in the past it was more common and by that I mean like many years ago it was more common to send like armies into the abyss to clear it out but the cost in life wasn't worth the results because the abyss was always still a problem yeah and it's um so, I can reword what I've said in a bit better so I know it's dangerous at abyss but other than that I don't know much about it is there anything you can tell me about it and he sits and he says I'm sure the archivists in the citadel will be um, of more use to you at length uh, in preparation for the expedition. However, the abyss warps what it touches. And he kind of just like sits as if he's kind of staring off in deep thought, only you can't really tell because he's in armour. And then he says, things that go in sometimes come back, but not always as they went in. Not presume you're not meaning like a druid, a, a transformation is something more than that. Transformation, yes. Wanted, no. Change is out, is a part of life, and we know the risks going in. I'm sure we will all be fine. Yeah, I like having ten fingers though, but okay. Yeah, but in one hand is more efficient, right? No more. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Your penis, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, um, I just that uh, um, can Crumbar kind of has a bit of a worried look across his face and, okay. asks, and just says to him um, we have a kid with us um, I hope that is not going to be a problem I mean, he, like his head kind of looks like very obviously and almost kind of like not robotically, but automatically, just like s the armor kind of moves and just stares straight at you, very methodically. You have a child in tow, and you wish to take this child into the abyss. I okay. believe. I Audacia. believe. Sorry. You want to go? I will ask. I was just. Well, I was going to say, Odysseus is, is aware we've brought the child with us as well. Are you saying the great cold worm? And he can he says that with a bit of um poignancy to it, like the title more than the name. Yeah. Um does, are you saying the great cold worm has condoned you taking a child into the abyss? You we believe it. Oh. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'll, 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 Com is bigger than you, he's good. <laughs> 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 uh, we believe him to have to be a weapon of sorts, and I believe he will be useful to us in the abyss. Weapon? Um, and you know that way, kind of 
just because I'm not too sure about what it is. It's like, we believe him to be the Black Fang Spear. What exactly is a Black Fang Spear? That's a good question. We are trying to figure that out exactly, although we've experienced it at least partially so far. This child is with you now? Yes. Yes. Downstairs. Yeah. Bring them. Crumbar uh, turns on his heels to go get Arya and, Crum and the kid, and I'm guessing what would be Kitty? <laughs> what would be Kitty? Um, keep in mind, she is with you guys, but she's just yeah, like, you what, can't interact what, with her. What, what would be Kitty if she wasn't too distracted by all the things that she's thinking about stealing? <laughs> Not me, though. No, I noticed that. Yeah, a distinct lack oh, of Eric. Yeah, crap, sorry, yeah. <laughs> Eric as well. Yeah, bring the social as well. Yeah, yeah I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, rich Lord from Glitterhagen. I guess we'll bring him. He can throw lightning around a boat, but that's nah, fine. We'll just leave him in the, the foyer. Yeah, you know what? Well, how interesting would it be if we just leave him to his own devices? <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll get it. I mean, to be fair, like the High Commander only asked for the kid, so. Yeah, no, I, I don't. I'm bringing them all. Okay, you do that. Grumbar don't play by no rules. Did you ask? So yeah, like, Reach, do you go with or do you stay in the room? I think I'd just stay in the room. Yep, so it's as Grumbar walks away, the doors open and close behind him. Um, so Grumbar's walking down the hall, but what do you do in the room? Do you ask him any more, or...? Uh, uh, the... The paladins going with us to the abyss, have they be went before? No. No. This will be a... A fairly I'm large expedition for the recent events. Recent events. Meaning that if a paladin went into the, the abyss before, it's probably been on their own against orders. Okay. Within the last hundred years, for example. Yeah. I presume they are a very capable at pr uh, protecting themselves. I chose you as all myself. Excellent. That's okay, that's all I see. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, realistic, right? That's a big fucking compliment. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Since the High Commander has hand chose these paladins to come with him. Yeah, either he really doesn't like them or he can't <laughs> handle themselves. Yeah. I mean, it can be two things, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know you can handle yourself, but at the same time, I don't like you. So if you yeah. do well, good. If you don't, eh. Who cares? Yeah. Win win. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, how, that's how, I mean, you don't become a high commander, right? <laughs> <laughs> By losing friends. <laughs> <laughs> good news, new paladins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, okay, so. I think when obviously Crumber leaves and you say that and then you kinda just go, Okay, good and he says, um You seem concerned about this child being mentioned. He, she was so he was uh, we were advised by Celeste to find this child. And Who, we were told he would be useful. Who is this Celeste? Uh, it's a friend of the Great Gold Dragon. Um, and I think he might be his oldest friend from what he was described. Other than that, I don't know much about her myself. She's a mysterious character. You seem to be well informed about the Great Gold Worm. I'm really not, but we have met him recently. But There's a distinctive that, movement in this person's body language. Very distinctive. Do you want to roll insight to see if you get it or not? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. This person is very, very, very annoyed. Like, almost like a defensive fighting kind of movement. You know, like a defensive thing. As soon as you say that you've, like, met them recently. Uh, so he's the head guy who's been chucked off the other side of the world away from the grey gold dragon but oh I mean yeah. we'll find out so the yeah. after that kind of like jolted movement he says you've had an audience with the great gold worm yes 
That's why we've came here. How lucky you must be. I certainly am. It's the only time I've ever met him, so this must be an important mission. The Great Gorgon does not just grace anyone with his presence. And like, there's like an air of bitterness to that. Yeah. Hmm. Right. You can tell that you've not made a friend here. <laughs> not really, yeah. But still, I don't want to carry But on. it's, yeah. yeah, it's like bitterness, it's almost maybe a tiny bit of jealousy, right? Like, like you know, yeah, yeah. when's the rest of them going to come back? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there's like... So can we, there's take it by, can we take it by his actions that he's not met the Great Gold Worm there? I mean, you can't. But Reach could assume that. Yeah, that's I mean, the collectively. He's jealous <laughs> of yeah. Right. The um, I think as well, like in the background of this maybe awkward tension that's there, you just see things slowly fixing themselves as well, like still as the yeah. room's still repairing itself back to its condition. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, the so Hopkins could have done that a lot quicker. But okay. <laughs> I mean, your conversation took what like seconds. So yeah, like, the yeah, um, exactly. it's just we to make the conversation take longer by deliberating that self. <laughs> Um, right, so Reach, you get to the other doors, you head out into the, the foyer. Everybody right, else Crumbar. That's what I mean, yeah, that's what I mean. Crumbar, right. good. good. Everybody's awake. Right, why have, right. You went to go so fetch I've, the kid. Oh yeah, so I've went out there, yep. I've uh, approached the, the wee group, as we shall call them, and they go... Um, the high commander wishes to see, uh, wishes to speak to Eramos. Uh, can you all come through? All of us, but he asked for Eramos. You don't know. Oh, well, Crumbar just no, told him. Just, just told <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Right, right. Crumbar just said the, the high commander asked to speak to Eramos. Thus, yeah. it was yeah. So sorry. Eric can do that. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think it would be good for him to meet. The rest of the party as well. But we don't want to annoy the uh, high commander. If we go in on an ounce, it's like, eh, we're just like patrolling around. I love that this is what you were like when everybody was like, let's go upstairs and meet the boss. And you're like, oh, mm, maybe, maybe not. Like, mm, See, we're the big guys, just, apparently. Just new people. New people you're not good with. <laughs> So yeah, what's um? So obviously, Eric seems disinclined to want to go. What about Arya? Well, to be honest, we're kind of supposed to be sticking together anyway, so it does sound like where one goes, the other ones should all follow. So I wouldn't have the tendency to be like, "Oh yeah, I'm going on my own." Yeah, makes sense. Or even being left. I'm assuming you've been kind of dealing with Eremos, so he's probably attached at your hip now. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, very likely. Uh, Look, Asking a million a... questions and pointing nope. at everything. No, weirdly, like, like I have a birdie friend. No, Eremos for like for those of you that have been staying in the foyer, like he's been practicing his kind of kata moves. Uh, he's actually not said a word. Aww. So he's just been making oh, wow, random okay. kind of like. That's definitely poses. something that's. Uh, hmm. Completely uh, changed, you know what I expected him to. Mm -hmm. Yep. Clearly, you ain't his favorite anymore. No, oh, but I'm wondering if I should have warned him not to do that. And the <laughs> <soul disappeared. laughs> <laughs> um, civilian. So you're gonna? Yeah, but you're not like the immortal Iron Fist. It's not like super secret techniques or anything. To, I mean, it's maybe yeah. just. Uh, yeah. Oh, we'll so see. Aria, Aria, Aria's coming along with me then. Yeah. Aramos has probably just ignored you. He's still doing his kata. So. so I uh, just call over to Aramos. Uh, just say, like, Aramos, uh, you're needed in the uh, high commander's office just now. And he, as you say that, because I think you used the exact wording you'd needed to, um, and he stops and like, kind of like adjusts his little tunic that he's got and turns around and says, Well, of course I am. And puffs out his chest. <laughs> I, I just kind of play along with it and go, Shall I lead the way? 
And he kind of like puts like a, a kind of over exaggerated hand gesture out from like his chest, waving like, "Of course." Follow the, me then, and just ah uh, yeah, turn round and uh, start walking, and then I kind of pause and turn round to uh, the other, well, the other three, <laughs> like. You just can come as well if you want to, and just kind of give uh, Eric a kind of mean look, and then just kind of keep walking on. <laughs> I'm gonna take that as he doesn't want me to go, so I'm gonna stay here. <laughs> oh no, no, it was more of a kind of because because when I came out and I was like, yeah, can you just all come with me? And you're like, but 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 no, it's like you've went against what I've asked, you dick. Well, you only said Erebus. Not yeah. everyone. She said everyone. No, oh, no, I, I said, uh, you about to, can you all come with me? Uh, the High Commander wishes to see Eremos. I don't like. Uh, I don't like annoying people in high positions. If I if I arrive unannounced, I'm uninvited. That's gonna, yeah, it's like a bit weird. I, I think the difference here though is that obviously Eric's from an upbringing of etiquette, and Crumbar isn't. So, for Crumbar, it was a uh, right. So. The boss wants to see the kid every day. Let's go on. Let's go. Let me go. Whereas for Eric, it would be like you have been invited to this thing. You're these people haven't been invited, so they don't get to go. That's mm. what, it's like a cultural difference which is showing up, which I like because your backgrounds are very different. <laughs> yeah, I drank from the skulls of my enemies. <laughs> um. But yeah. So Eremos is like yeah. heading forward, and then he turns around to the group, and he's like, "Are you guys coming?" We wasn't invited, Eremos, but Ari might still go. Adrian, you coming along? Sorry, everybody went robotic there for a moment, so I didn't quite catch the last 10 seconds. Basically, are you are coming you? into yeah. the High Commander's office, or are you staying here with Eric? Well, they called for us, so... No, they did yeah, not. I'll be gone. <laughs> they called for Eremos. They called for Eremos, yeah. But, but Crumbar said... Crumbar said... I know. The boss wants to see the kids. But I wouldn't have, like, the sense to know that. I mm -hmm. mean... That's fine. Yeah, you can go too. Um, right, so... Arya and Eremos, I'm literally raised in the woods, people. Yep. Uh, so, yep, you just head back into the, the room. The door is open. The door is closed. Yous are in the kind of office of the, the High Commander. Aramos is standing there. She's kind of looking up. And then uh, and the High Commander says, Which one's the kid? The smaller really? one. Isn't it quite obvious? Yeah. <laughs> These are both Crumbar someone's kind of, child. So Crumbar, Crumbar just kind of points towards Aramos. <laughs> like in that kind of, uh, that one. And he says, who is this? And points to Arya. This is one of uh, our companions. Wait, am I the only one that followed? Has yes. Kitty not followed? No. Has Kitty... Oh, <laughs> shit. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was just... Well, to be, honest, was I... as well, but... yeah, to be honest... Well, to be honest... Yeah, to be honest, though, I, where, where the kid goes, I'm, I'm likely to go anyway. Yeah, cause... I figured that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think, you yeah. Should, I, think, I, think you should, I think you should say that to him, to be honest. Yeah. Like answer for yourself. So he the thing is the scene is that he's walked in, he says who's the kid? He's all points to Aramos, he points to Arya and says, Who is this? Arya, do you want uh, Adrian, do you want to uh, answer for yourself? Um yeah, sure I guess. I mean I'd be saying hi. My name is Arya Bluebird. Um, I'm one of the people that have been. I don't know how. How would I say? <laughs> well, summoned together on this mission, and. Uh, Who summoned you? Um, it was Celeste, it's a bit of a long it? story, actually. Um, but I heard you called for for the child and I kind of go where he goes. Is this your child? No, no, he is not. 
I think Aramis just looks up at you as if, am I? <laughs> we are your guardians, I have Aramos. not given yes. any and birth to any children, no, so... Um, no, I, I'm not mine, but uh, we've uh, we have kind of become his his guardians as as my colleague as my friend here. Whose child is it? We are not aware. Yeah, <laughs> and neither is the Eremos himself. And he says, Eremos, is that your name? And he says that to like. Aramos, who just looks back up at Arya as if, what do I do? <laughs> Arya? Um, yep, there we go. <laughs> I think the thing I'd be doing right now is I'd kind of like, oh, obviously quite tentatively, because I've seen this not go well in the past, but I would just be very lightly putting a hand on his shoulder. I'm like, it's okay, we're safe here. Kind of kinda like talk if you want, sort of thing. Yeah, and it, it, it kind of like nods at you and then kind of turns around and kind of like takes that wee step forward so he's slightly in front of you. Are you again? Pulls out his chest goes, I am Eremos, the Black Fanged Spear. Kind of like nods once, looking very regal. And then you just hear the uh, the hacker going, Indeed. Why are you taking a child into the abyss? And he's like kind of gesturing to both like Crumbar and Reach at this point. As I said before, Commander, I oh. believe he can be of much use to us. Kurt, yeah, we do believe it, although we don't understand it yet, but we do believe it. And like, there's just a, there's just this kind of uncomfortable like quiet for maybe 30 seconds does Endy fill it? if you're worried about his safety I will guarantee it I think that's beyond you the sorry I'm just trying to think of what I want mm -hmm. <laughs> we believe he could guarantee his own safety to be honest is it not a paladin's job to protect yeah, but against an army of demons, you might struggle. Just say that you're on, bro! Yeah, I'm just being a bit more honest. There's <laughs> Eremos has got more chance against an army of demons than I, any of us, quite possibly. Yeah, exactly! Yeah. And then the, the High Commander stands up, and then, like, stops you two, like, exchanging. And he says, Child, do you wish to go on this expedition? Aramos just like, um, um, will there be ink? <laughs> where is it? And then the high commander so just good. looks at both of you, like, very, like, the, the armor very swiftly moves between Reach and Crumber as if instantly judged badly. And, uh, is that what exactly have you told this child of the expedition? He seems to know nothing. To be fair, we know very little as well. We've told him as much as we do, uh, pretty much. Uh, so, as far as he's concerned, he, he's aware he's on a, a, an adventure, and he's aware it can be dangerous. We've already had a few run-ins. I can't the condone this child to go. Yeah. Are there any other children amongst your civilians that I should be aware of? No, there isn't. And if you want us to go, Eremos comes with it. Wait, am I? Yeah. <laughs> it says, you have been commanded to go, Crumbar Denebic, Paladin of the Golden Order. You will go because you are ordered to. And it is at my discretion whether your civilians join us. 
Is that understood? Crumbar at this point just kind of remembers his place. And <laughs> like, you know, I kind of like he's clearly spoken out of anger and it's been like, oh fuck, I just remember. Yeah, it's like speaking. remembering you're a paladin, not a berserker. Yep. Yeah. Like our barbarian. This yep. <laughs> child has been alive long enough to write hundreds of books. So he's quite possibly as old as I am. That's a good point. Have we ever asked what age he was? We haven't. No, we've assumed. And yeah, how long would it take to write those books? You've asked. You've asked Eremos many times what age he was, yeah, actually, he and know, he said he said ten. Many yeah. times, and then he said, "How long were? How long have you been ten? Is what Arya asked him, and he yeah. said, "How long have you been ten? And she says, "Well, just a normal amount." <laughs> and he's like, "Well, obviously yeah. that's me too." Yeah, all that happened. He's had a whole conversation about Holdy was. Yeah, yeah. Right. Back, yeah. In, back in the tower. Because I thought he might just be this like immortal child that's, you know, fully formed as a child to begin with, like via magic mm. somehow. The way they suddenly had a girl called Dawn appear in Buffy, like when she yeah. was fifteen. So that that's essentially what mind. I thought he was. Rast, or one thing, he might have like one of our years might be uh, no ten of our years might be one of his or something like that. To be honest. So. Mm. Is there no way that we can test them? The kid like looks awkward. Like, what do you mean, test me? Yeah, like come through the like encounter rings. <laughs> to see if he's fit. Come on the expedition. Yeah. And then you think, like, as you say that, like he just like Aramos, like just like shouts, like I can fight, and then like punches the air a couple of times the way you, like reach wood. <laughs> But like the exact way like an angry ten year old would, right? <laughs> uh, I have been training him slight, slight training him, but uh, it's uh, but he has got his own skills. What's this commander guy's name again? You don't know. Commander. Yeah. He's the high did commander. The did the dwarf lady not say? No. I no, swear she said. Uh, sorry, um, I probably should have asked him who he was. <laughs> does it, does it, can I can I roll insight to see if I notice like a name tag on like, <laughs> the table or anything like that? Like age, <laughs> age, com, and then name. Yeah, <laughs> I think a good chance um, we would know his name, even though we've never mentioned him, known him, uh, met him. I, again, though, no, like not necessarily. I mean, keep in mind that you don't all have social media back in this world. Like knowing who's who isn't always a thing. Speak, who's in charge speak, of it? You know. Speak for yourself, I'm well rocking an iPhone. <laughs> uh, it's just a, an eyeball that you hold and occasionally ask questions, though. Yeah. But, uh, but the magic eight ball. I got it from my mother. Um, uh, I mean... My backstory. <laughs> let's see. I mean, you can ask him his name if you really want, but no. Again, I don't... Yeah, screw, right, mm -hmm. screw that. Well, uh, I'll just turn to him and be like, well, can I, hi, Commander. Can you... Is there any tests that you can... Uh, give him. He's kind of still staring at you from the uh, interaction that you've had mere moments ago, where it was essentially um, what's the insubordination? Maybe I think it would be considered. And uh, he says, "Paladin, how's your guests? How's are they? They're fine." <laughs> Um, sorry, I didn't hear what you did. Did you say house or house? House, as in right. house. Them, yeah, go. See to them that they have quarters, etc. Basically, house. leave is uh, what he's saying to you. Oh. Mm. Very well. Crumbar turns on his heels, uh, looks at all the group apart from Reach, obviously, and just says, Come with me. I'll show you to. I'll find us some quarters to stay in for tonight. And uh, proceed to leave the room. Yeah, and the doors close with a a louder noise than before. And, uh, oh, good. And uh, uh, yeah, so you're in the hallway. See while you're walking away. Like, <laughs> is there any exchange that Arya and Crumbar have in the hallway? Uh, quick question: Is Reach with us or is no. he stayed behind? No. Nope. Reach is in the room. Yeah, it's uh, just you. He doesn't want to talk to anymore. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, him? I think it's safe to assume that we're gonna follow him quite, you know, without 
asking any further questions or anything. No, I mean of Crumbar though. Like, are you going to ask Crumbar anything in the hallway? Because you're all there. Mm-hmm. So what are those questions? No, I mean, like, um, I think we're very happy to follow him and be out of that guy's <laughs> face. Yeah, that's what I mean. You're out of his face now, though. You're in the corridor in private, able to talk to Crumbar now, if you wanted to. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Has... Eremos left with us, yes. or is it just... Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so he's with us. And, um... I think I... I'm gonna ask, is there... Is there any chance if they separate us, if they don't allow Eremos to join us, is there any chance he could stay here if that is needed? There... We probably could find him accommodation, but I want to keep the boy close. Same. I wouldn't want to part, but I just thought I'd I'd ask. I don't know this place that well. No, that's... And, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm, like, looking around and, like, really not liking the fact that I'm, you know, amongst walls and stuff, and you can mm -hmm. kind of tell that I'm yeah. just itching to go out in the air. I, I, cr I, I've just kind of turned around to Arya and said, trust me, I've not spent much time above the grounds here either. And just kind of have a wee giggle. Eremos just kind of says, mostly kind of to the, the corridor or, or and to himself. Uh, hmm. He seemed angry. Let's just say I think we've uh, disrupted his plan. <laughs> we, you? Yeah, I think he didn't like the fact that we're not paladins, but we're involved in a paladin mission. Uh, during this, um, I just kind of turn around to Eromos as well I'm like so you said that you could fight he just punches you in the leg mm. like just mm. full on just fu out. like full on just punches you in like the thigh you like How, right. I'm confused what yeah uh, yeah so I've, I've asked him because he's like so Eromos you think you can fight and, and then all you hear is ha right. and like him punch right. you in the thigh Okay, because he has proper done a full force punch to my thigh, and because I do not know what this kid actually is yet, does it hurt me? No. No, right. It's like a 10 year old punching an armored okay, orc right, okay. in the thigh. <laughs> you, you never know, it could be, like, it could be the fact that because he actually full force punched me, could be what his full force punches is like a fucking nuclear bomb. <laughs> you know, I don't know. He is a, yeah, when he yeah, make a, a bruise. Like, we're crying out loud, it's just yeah. a But it, it's that kind of way, we are still yet to know the full power of this black... No, it's this question, like the question's valid, it's been answered, yeah. yep. It just, just uh, hits off like your armor, and then he can Like I say, I still think the way that we need to activate him is by giving him a good smack about the head, but by all means, I do not condone violence towards children. No, just activating them. Yeah, but I, I mean... We've noticed turned, that, do we? You know, <laughs> um... Right, right, so anyway, so, um, he punches you, he goes, ha, punches you in the armoured kind of plating on your plate mail, and then just goes, ow, and like kind of looks at his hand, it's all like bruised, or not bruised yet, but like, you know that way where obviously somebody that's not used to punching things has just punched metal. Mm. So he's now uh, kind of yeah. like holding his hand, but trying not to act like it hurts. I just kind of dadly look at him and just be like, I think uh, you've got a wee bit to go yet. Uh, with your fighting. Still hit you though. <laughs> he says rubbing his knuckles. Fair point. Yeah. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> you, 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 can, you, you can hit the target all you want, but unless there's some power behind it, there's never gonna, you know, it's never gonna make an impact. And he just kind of looks at his knuckles and then just kind of like, you know, stops rubbing them and kind of like tries to make like a fist again. As if he's trying to take on board what you're saying, but at the same time, he has a sore hand, obviously. So, mm -hmm. I just kind of ruffle, give him like a wee ruffle in his hair, and be like, "Yeah, he freaks out." Oh, yeah. oh dear. Yeah, he like he, and, he freaks I, I, out I, I, and jumps like a startled cat. Like, yeah, he does not like that at all. Like, roll insight, in fact. Roll insight. Yeah. 
critical fail. Very close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think maybe you think as well there's something up, like not with him specifically, of like what you did, but maybe you think like he's freaked out at something behind you or whatever. Like you just don't get the fact that he doesn't like being touched. You don't get that from this interaction. Just to, just to make it, just to quote the uh, best movie ever made. You go, don't worry, we'll make a man out of you yet. And like, yeah, he just looks kind of upset and he kind of just keeps his distance from you, I think, for now. And he kind of like stays at the other side of Arya <laughs> while rubbing yeah. his knuckles. Go, go, go to your mummy. Um, you said you were the dad. What? Yep, have... we've got his parents sorted now, and we've got the guardians. Yep, it's all fine. Yep. So yeah, you head have... out. Yeah. Have we bumped into uh, Eric? Yet? No, this was just in the corridor between the doors. Right, so okay. it's, um, but meanwhile, reach. Meanwhile. <laughs> <laughs> camera zooms all the way back up the corridor through the doors into the office where it stops abruptly thing and it's a uh, as soon as the doors close with a thud uh, you're left in the office with him uh, reach and uh, the high commander says I'm beginning to reconsider my roster for this expedition Crombar's not our most diplomatic or a uh, or a much good etiquette, but he is extremely useful in certain situations that we're likely to encounter. And Eremos, I am sure, will be useful in ways that we don't understand yet. Well, he kind of sits there for a bit, maybe like 15 or 10 or like uncomfortable seconds, as if he's thinking about everything you're saying. And he's like, I'm not comfortable condoning a child to death. To be fair, I wouldn't be fond of going myself if I was sh sure of death. I am sure we can... I am sure of your abilities. Hence why I chose you. I have hand-chosen the expedition members. You and... And it kind of like nods towards the door. The other... You have proven yourselves to me. Uh, the lady who advised us to get Eremus yes. she is a special person Celeste she's probably Fae although I'm no expert But and the great gold dragon has known her f for a long long time as he trusted her enough f to send Eremus with us here well yeah to to allow Eremos to come with us. Be a better wording. Yeah. Again, like a bit more uncomfortable silence. Night Commander says, I am in charge of this expedition. I am not allowing that child into the abyss. What would it say about the Golden Order if we took civilians and children into the abyss? We could make them paladins. At least <laughs> deputy paladins. I don't know. I don't see that happening. Ask him about testing them again. Yeah. Perhaps Crumba was right. A test might be a good idea. And exactly how would you test someone to prepare them for the abyss? Well, whatever you've deemed has made me capable of it, if you can test that on them. Okay, so in, what, 20 or 40 years time, rigorous training by the monasteries of the Golden Order, we'll take the child. Well, that, that rigorous training has given me certain abilities, why not test the, the, them for equivalent abilities. What abilities has the child exhibited so far? That's for you Scott by he the way just so you know the word exhibited. <laughs> he right, I've, got, I've got two words for you. <laughs> <laughs> Is it date night? Hi oh. Yeah, you, <laughs> you <Westerner. laughs> uh, he 
summoned uh, creatures uh, which were very good at fighting. Uh, how exactly did it? I cannot really. What type explain. of creatures? Uh, pretty evil bats. Yeah. And there's obviously an uncomfortable movement in the chair. <laughs> yeah. Bats. So the child's some kind of druid. Possibly, but I don't think so. But uh, maybe similar ish abilities. Your, we don't uh, fully understand it yet. This bluebird, one of your companions, as she vanishes. <laughs> 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 oh no, my name! Uh, let's see if she comes back, because I wouldn't mind her being able to overhear this. There we go, thank you, welcome back. Yeah. But yeah, so she's, he says, uh, this bluebird, one of your companions, had the smell of the forest on her. I did not get that from the child. No. Yes, Arya is a druid, and yeah, but the child, although he can summon things, I wouldn't say he's an actual druid, but he's he has got abilities, but like say, I can't classify them because we don't fully understand them yet. And do you wish to take this unknown into an already unknown dangerous situation? Uh, mathematically, two unknowns may cancel each other out. <laughs> <laughs> And there's uh, an equal chance that might just make the problem twice as bad. I give you that's possible, yes. Although Is it then worth the risk? If we leave the child out, we have one problem guaranteed. That one problem, can we guarantee we can handle that problem? If that's we do why we're it? going in. Yes, now, to see if we can handle it, but it would be better having an ace up the sleeve. But this ace could be... I'm trying to think of the term he would use. I'm trying to think of yeah. some kind of like vicious animal that yeah. might be, you know, something that would go up your sleeve and attack you. <laughs> <slept> <laughs> the, uh, in the same areas and we might agree. Uh, yeah. There we go. So, like, as you say, it might be an ace up the sleeve and, like, and he could soon be a scorpion. Yeah, right, sneak in the grass. I was thinking of the there. But yeah, cool. Yeah, that's more desert. Yep, yep. Yeah. <laughs> We've been able to deal with them so far, and we've been with them for weeks. Right, and at uh, this point I think as well, like, me and you could back and forth this all the time, but let's go for a persuade check, right? Yeah. And let's idea. say, this is pretty tough, uh, yeah. you've said to him, like, your argument is that he could be a help, but you've also told him you don't know what he can do. The um, So before you, don't roll just yet. No. And um, so we've got that. You've said he could be a massive help, but we don't know anything about him. And he summons bats. Uh, he said, obviously, his part of, yeah, your unknown is bad for us. Because why would I take an unknown into an unknown situation to make two unknowns? I would just deal with the one I have. And so, can you see why? Like, it's some, like. Oh, I see the point. Uh, and also, my point is this unknown we're going into, we, we probably know we cannot handle it. Uh, so mm. anything to try and help us is but again sweet. his point though is you're still arguing your point of taking an unknown in might help that's your point yeah. that you've made each time whereas he's saying but you're saying it might help it might not help that's the equal level of that could be worse taking this child in yeah. if he's an unknown summoner <laughs> what would he summon if he's in the abyss that warps things right yeah, yeah. So I'd say it's not quite 18s where I wanted to put the check, but I'm not going to put it as high as 18. I think I'm going to I'm going to bring it down to like it. I'm going to say maybe it's um, it's probably a 17. So right. if you can get like a a 17 on this persuade check, you you've convinced them to take the kid. Unless anyone can think of anything else that needs to be thrown in here to maybe adjust a dice roll, but yeah, that's I'd say that's fair, especially given like Crumbar hasn't helped you. If Crumbar had stayed in the room, it'd be there'd be no way the kid would be taken at all. You'd have pissed off the commander too much. Yay, pissing people. <laughs> um, as I said, you can reword it before you roll if need be, but at the moment it's sitting at a seventeen. Is the DC for that? Like we had to find them for a reason. 
like random bear appears in the room. <laughs> See what the boy can do now? Um, no, I mean, the thing is, that Celeste said, once we found the kid, she would find us. Yes. And you're going to put, gonna put the kid into the abyss. Yeah. Yep. That's what you're doing. But the thing is, <laughs> but the thing is that is what she also showed us. She never showed you the kid in the abyss, no? No, but she showed us demons pouring out a portal, mm -hmm. which is what I'm assuming happens there. Well, you've seen the abyss, and then mm. a big tear open up in front of you, and things pour yeah. out of the tear. Yeah. So, the thing she's worried so, about is a portal, if you want to use your terminology, opening yeah. and things coming out in the abyss, which is the big chasm area of the world. Yeah. I think if we go there, she's going to have to show up. If she values the, the kid, she's going to have to show up. If the kid was in any trouble, I would expect she would definitely show up. If the kid's not in any trouble and is where he's meant to be, then she might just leave things play out. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. Also, she did say to you very specifically when you said, "Why can't you just go get like Why can't you just go get her?" Remember back in like session one, and she says, "Use her of the world." Ah, uh, yeah. But yeah, <laughs> but that doesn't say that she can't like you know. It doesn't. You're correct. No, it doesn't say that she can't hearthstone us out of the place. Hmm. It's maybe where that research about the abyss might come in handy. She's have like I a can't think anything better the way anyway, and don't think anybody else can. So just roll the persuasion and pray. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you don't have a uh, inspiration, do you? No, I would have been loved to hear. <laughs> can he yeah. be inspired by my amazing flute playing? No, but I think Arya has inspiration, and it depends what Arya wants to do with it, because she could yeah. give you inspiration. Yeah, but I wasn't in the room. Was on no, but as a player, over. it's a mecha it's a Actually, mechanical thing, right? It's yeah. not a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so keep in mind, let's let's talk about it just now. Inspiration's a game yeah. thing, not a pl like not a character thing. So, okay. your character doesn't know that you're rolling a dice twice to get a result. That's a player thing. So you as a player can say, okay. you can grant your inspiration that I gave you from way back in Glitterhagen. If you want, you don't need to. This is just a thing you can do. Oh. And it means he yeah, can... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, let's do it. So yeah, you can... Mind, it is a 17. That I could do so you can do it. You don't need to. So no, no. This isn't a thing that you need to do as a, like a power on your character sheet. It isn't like spirit totem or whatever. This is just something you do as a character, like as a player, sorry, um, where you say, you've, yeah. got, you've got inspiration from the comment about the ink store, whereas... I gave that to you. You can spend it at any point to get advantage on a, a dice roll, but you can grant inspiration to another player as well. Okay, cool. Well, as long as you have it, to be of honest, course. I think we really do need to make this happen because I think that if, as as we were discussing, if at some point we do actually put the kid in too much danger than he's supposed to be, Celeste is just going to walk through. So I don't think there's anything bad with us taking the kids with us after all so we do need to make sure that that person is convinced to make this happen so yeah i'm happy to allow for that inspiration thing to be what i'll do then is i'll open up yeah. your character sheet and i'll untick inspiration on your mm -hmm. sheet so it's done right so and sure. then can i throw the counter argument into this yeah go. i don't even go know on. where it was but yeah what's your counter bear in mind the um Bear in mind that he needs a seventeen, and we and that's our high roll. What is your um, charisma? What we have to persuasion, deception. A charisma is zero, is zero modifier. So I've got fifteen percent chance of doing it in one roll, uh, and a thirty percent chance with two. Yeah, it's still really low. That it is low. Yeah. Depends what else you're going to do. I'd rather not bet on that, but yeah. Well, I mean, put it this way, Eric, are you going to leave Aramos here, or do you want him to go like as a like a Character or player, whatever. As as a uh, as a character, I don't think Eric wants Aramis to go because mm -hmm. I haven't seen Eric hasn't seen the same vision these guys has yeah. at all. So I am dead against sending a kid into the abyss. Makes sense. Yep. Um, but yeah, so it's up to you. Obviously, if Arya wants to give reach inspiration for the role. 
that's fine. If Reach wants to accept it for the role, that's also fine. So there's two steps to this. Arya's happy to give it, it sounds like. Uh, Reach, are you happy yep, to yep. take it? I'm happy to take it. I do think it's... So roll your persuasion advantage. with... Uh, ins advantage. Ad advantage, that's the word. I'm going to say inspiration, but yeah, advantage. Persuasion. Roll your inspiration with it, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Oh, yes. oh, nice! Almost and the first time as well, and but. purely only because you had oh, advantage, yeah. Eric. Hit it. There we I, go. I just wanted to put that like air of caution out because just like throwing the inspiration <laughs> out, like. <laughs> Dude, you clearly don't believe in the heart of the cards. I mean, I think what we'll take from this is that I'm a very nice GM that points out things you can do in game to get bonuses. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, no, it's just I want you to know. You. I just want you to know this stuff because it is useful, right? Because um, at any point, keep in mind, guys. At any point, you could have used that for like our own attack rolls or anything in the, in the past, yeah. right? It's um, but this is a nice point to be like, again. Arya got inspiration about Aramos, and now she's gave away her inspiration related to Aramos. It's quite fitting. Um, yeah. But yeah, you made the roll, even if it had been the 18 as well. Yeah. So yeah, uh, your conversations kind of like we do that thing where we kind of fade out on obviously you and the High Commander having that chat, and then we'll just cut to you going to the like the rooms, as it were, like the kind of uh, lodgings, I guess. Um, relatively simple simple rooms it's like um, see like when you like go away and you have like a kind of bunk dorm type thing it's not like a big massive barrack style one um, these are maybe like two to a room kind of like big white stone buildings um, but yeah so you like reach will kind of fade in like I would say everybody's in one room are waiting reach to return um, dumping stuff um, but yeah so reach you walk in at that point to the room walk in see uh, well, he's allowed Eremus to come with us. It was a bit touch and go, but he's he's allowed that. Uh, so it looks like we've got our party. Uh, still, f everybody's still with us. Uh, Has he allowed the rest of us to go? Yeah, like That's a good I mean, point there, you know, Well, I mean, yes. no, he did because remember at the start of the conversation, he said you are responsible for your civilians. Then you brought up the fact that there was a child. Yeah, well, yeah. Eric did like that. Yeah. Yes, he has. Yeah. Although it's not deputised you that I was hoping for, but we can all go. Yeah. I would be a paladin like you guys. <laughs> What's wrong with being a paladin? I'm an I'm a lord, a noble of Glitterhagen. I have my um, own to look after. I just kind of I just kind of snigger at him and go. I was a part of an Orcish war band. I had my own to look after as well. That's completely different. Apples and oranges. Yeah, they're different. <laughs> Still a fruit. And I think Aramos just pipes up from the bed. He's like, so I'm going. If you want to, uh, it is probably going to be very dangerous, just to warn you. We don't know what we're actually going in to see. I'm personally against letting Eremos go into the abyss. Can you like look like he says, uh, "Why don't you want me to go?" Because obviously, like nobody else is really against Eremos going, and you're like, "I don't think you should go." So the kid's a bit defensive. Like, why don't you think I should go? Because you're young. I don't want you to go in there. Maybe get some demon to take hold of you and kidnap you and talk to you or some crap. And I started waving my fingers in a spooky manner. And I think um, it kind of just like nods wide eyed, and um, like really slowly. Says, if I'm young, are you old? For a human, I'm young. So you shouldn't go to the abyss. So you want me? It's a, you want me and you to sit here and wait. When he sits and he thinks about it, like on the edge of the bed, he's like, no, I want to go with them. And he points to like <laughs> the part of the room where you've got like Arya Crumbar and Reach standing. <laughs> and Kitty. No. No? No. Okay. If you want to go, 
you like there's nothing stopping you. I just I just look it out for your well being, that's all I remember. And then he stands up and like fixes his tunic and then he looks up at your reach and he says Did you speak for me? Yes, I did. And Crumper. He kind of like it's draws like narrow his eyes, like when you say that, and he looks over Crumper and his eyes narrow, like, yeah, I don't believe that. <laughs> and then uh, looks back at him and he just says, Thank you. And kind of like does like a really awkward, quick bow. You're welcome. Oh, small bow back. Uh, actually, <laughs> not a big deep bow back. Do that, yeah. And then he like just rebows, if you know what I mean, like when you're doing like a slower, more. And then with other one, he like kind of like copies it <laughs> across from you. He says, "I'm going to the abyss." Kind of, he says that kind of to himself. And then he jumps back on his bed. I'm going to assume, probably, Aramoth. Like, what? Wh who's who's bunking with who? Right. So obviously, see, <laughs> see before you do that. Mm -hmm. uh, can I turn around to Aramoth and ask him, does he know anything about the abyss? Why? Why don't you do that? Yeah, no, that's what I'm doing. Sorry. Okay, so say it uh, first person. So that's what I did. Aramis, before you go to bed, do you know anything about the abyss? It seems to be a scary place that nobody wants to go to. That uh, that is most true, but I was wondering if you read anything about it in any of your book. And you can see, like, he looks. Hmm, in fact, no, roll insight. That's a better one. But like, MD that's in the room actually is welcome to roll insight on this one. Roll insight. Yeah. Uh, why can I never find these things? <laughs> Oh, not bad. Wow. Yep. Uh, just waiting. Arya, are you wanting to roll it or are you waiting? Oh, we got one eventually. It was fine. Yeah, so only Crumber gets this, sadly. Uh, Sorry. This is sadly, too. Super, super, super tiny. That's okay. That's, that's cool. If need be as mm. well, we can make rolls for you if we need to, so don't worry about that. Um, if it's easier, but yeah, so yeah, you've really upset him, like Crumbar. Like he, obviously, you maybe kind of get that he's not really over the fact that like you like you touched him and ruffled his hair, and um, like he doesn't really get what that means, right? Well, you to you like rough play as a an orc was normal, right? And like an orc tribe, that's how you become tough and strong and fight, and. It also helps you go over stuff because your friend punches you in the morning and then you punch him at night and then that's everything's fine, right? Like there's nothing wrong with that as an orc in a tribe. But for him, like he like remember he didn't live with anyone, it seemed. Mm. It's just him with that room upstairs in the tower. Um and then obviously you're being like playful and boisterous with him and he doesn't get that. So So that I know he's up so that I know he's upset about that. You know he's still upset about that, and when I mean, you've mentioned the fact that obviously, you know, did you read anything about the abyss in the the books that you wrote? He's now sad about the fact that obviously, well, let's face it, he's not with his books anymore, and he clearly liked his yeah. books. <laughs> I just kind of crouched down to his kind of level, and just like, sorry, boy, I didn't mean to upset you. He does that, that thing where he folds his arms. As if, yeah, sure, okay. You're just saying that because I'm sad. You know, that's the type of... You know, like a kid when you're like, oh, I'm sorry, kid, and they, they make a wee huff of it. So he doesn't actually say anything, though? No, no. Just crosses his arms. Yeah, because, um, again, he's still, he's still really upset looking, right? Because he's almost got, like, kind of... I'd say almost teary eyes, right? Mm-hmm. Hmm. What the? I pro I I promise I won't touch you again. And the kid sensitivity from a half orc that's unusual. Yeah, and then the kid like I think the kid like. 
move to the edge of the bed, like kind of where you are. So he's like sat on the edge of the bed instead of like kind of pulled up onto it. And he, he kind of just stares at you. And then he stands up off the edge of the bed. So he's kind of like staring as you're kind of like leaning down. And he's like, mm. okay. And he puts his hand out as if to shake your hand. Combar, yeah, so I just kind of nod at him and go, I would shake your hand, but promised I wouldn't touch you again. This one time's okay. Uh, yeah, reach my hand out and uh, grasp his hand and shake it. And just say to him, well, if you allow it. And he kind of like nods, like, with his hair kind of like falling over his shoulders and stuff. And he climbs back up into bed. So yeah, I think, um, obviously I don't think there's any need for a long rest mechanics. I don't think he's actually spent anything, have they? So No. Yeah, no. So we... A long rest unless anyone's doing anything through because keep in mind this is still relatively early when you've arrived mm. yeah because you would have probably wanted to have like you know tried to rest through the day and travel at night through the desert you know really I, I'm gonna uh, strike up a conversation with uh, Eric alright are you all leaving this room then I mean can you just is this room just it's Got beds in it? Two beds not? to each of these rooms. Right. So these are pairing off, so essentially. So Eremos, I... we're going to just put Eremos and Kitty in the same room for the sake of uh, convenience, though. Right, okay. Um, I... Uh, Crumbar's a way off to go and find some food and, like, a kitchen area. Yeah, oh, there's obviously, like, a, there's a big mess hall, obviously. Um, yeah. There's probably, there's probably so several that... throughout this place. I'm off there, and I'm awaiting a chance to have a conversation with Eric. Well, let's just say everybody's there then, right? Well, maybe, like, yeah. she stays with the kid because um, she doesn't like the place for some reason. Or that she's maybe worried she'll just go steal everything. So, Kitty stays and looks after Hermos while he rests. And then, mm -hmm. everybody else heads to, like, the mess area. Mm -hmm. Unless somebody wants to do anything specifically otherwise. Like, Eric, Arya, or Reach, does anybody want to not go there? No, there's no reason for me not to want to go. Yep. Oh, yeah, yep. having a first seems to be a decent idea. Yeah, mm -hmm. so like you said, into the mess hall, like there's a couple of other people like kicking about. I am, um, you know, as you can imagine, because there's a lot of people that live in here, right? That mess about. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Funny. So, uh, yeah, go for it. Uh, so, Eric, why yeah. don't you want the kid to come with us? What? Like, what do you mean why? He's, like, defenseless. He can write books, and he has uh, magical words. Like, that uh, just glow around his body. How can he, like... Let's pause on that. Himself? Has Reach told anyone about that? I haven't, but I was meaning to, intending to. But I was probably wanting to do when Eremos was not there. Yeah. So, I don't think Eric can say that yet. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I'm just like, okay, he writes books. He hasn't shown... Any way to defend himself, reaches like give him a few le lessons on like martial art monkey stuff. I don't know, he's doing it in the foyer while we were waiting for you. Like, why would we bring a handicap? I wouldn't call him a handicap. I've fought the things that he managed to conjure, and they nearly killed me in reach. So, I really think he should come. Plus, I do not trust leaving him here in the hands of the Golden Order. I agree about not trusting the Golden Order, but what things he conjured? What you... What's all this distrust about the Golden Order? <laughs> no, 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 it's not, no, it's not, it's not distrust in the Golden Order, it's just I don't want to leave him here in the Golden yeah, Order. Yeah, it's just not trusting the Golden Order with Aramis, not overall just like, yeah, Golden Order, great. It's more, I wouldn't really trust Eremos with anyone that isn't us. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I think I just worried it. I, I think I worded it wrong. Ba basically, I don't want Eremos out of our sight. Okay. I understood what you meant. Yeah. I'll uh, you're saying that when 
He's specifically out of your sight. <laughs> yeah. I like the president of the United States in the football, though. Yeah. What you mean. Yeah. Right. yeah. Um, so, I just try and hang it. Um, Welcome to our new that... CIA, NSA, and FBI listeners, thanks to uh, Stuart's uh, <laughs> keyboard search. <laughs> there is. <laughs> uh, so, I just pipe up and uh, basically explain to him like, the camping scenario and just been like, right. Um, when we were uh, camping uh, with Theramos in the first night, he managed to summon uh, a bunch of bats that attacked the party. Um, we fought them off, but uh, we could have suffered great casualties. And you want to bring that into the abyss with us where we're already fighting demons? As uh, the High Commander said, the Abyss can change people. I'm hoping this will bring out his power. He said, like, so he, the Abyss can change people in what way? Good ways? Bad ways? I'm assuming bad. He didn't quite specify in what ways. Just that they would change. I'm hoping it would like, accelerate his power and we can use it to our advantage. Oh, he said it warped people and not for the better. <laughs> Did he? He said it warped people and not in ways they want, uh, uh, they expected yeah. or wanted. That's wanted, not yeah. necessarily better or worse, but yeah. That's, <laughs> yeah. Well, that would but make yeah. them unwanted changes, right? So. Uh, I don't know if you suddenly grew wings, you may think, oh, I, I always wanted that, I didn't realise that, but that's... <laughs> <laughs> I've got a feeling that's not what's going to happen, though. Okay. I mean, we don't know yet, do we? <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> Crumbar wants wings. <laughs> <laughs> what, we barbecue sauce or can I, uh, nah. You're playing uh, the wrong class for that, sadly. <laughs> Need to be a dragon, a draconic sorcerer. Uh, there's other sorcerers that do it as well, but yeah, mostly sorcerers get wings, weirdly. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> Hush your mouth, I love sorcerers. But anyway. So yeah, yeah, changes in the abyss, problems, taking a kid in. Again, I'm still not seeing the upside of taking him. I just, it's just, it does not seem like it'd be in our best interest to take him. I'm kind of wanting to make a dig at the fact of how, la how long we've known you. Uh, Unless, guys, does anyone else want to pipe in? Because I'm assuming you can all hear the conversation. I'm wondering that. You're all at a table. Yeah, you're all at a table. We are all there. Right? Yeah, you're all just having like a like a meal. Uh, uh, to be honest, it boils down to the one thing that Celeste said. He's the ultimate weapon, basically. And we're going into the place where the ultimate weapon would be very useful. That's and the great gold dragon trusts Celeste. That's what it all, all boils down to, in my opinion. Yeah. yeah, but taking him into the abyss gives us the chance of losing this weapon. I can't use the weapon unless Not you take it with you. necessarily. Because the thing is, if we were done, if we all that we were supposed to do is find him, force and nest, then she would have shown up by now and she would have taken him away or whatever. But the fact that we found him as per her request and now we're on a quest from somebody that's supposedly her friend that, that we can trust um, makes me think that either she doesn't know that we found him or it's not the time to, to hand him over to her. But at the same time, we were put together for this one mission, and I don't feel that we should essentially abandon it and abandon him just because we were given another mission by somebody else. We are all dead certain Eremos is the Black Fang, the Black Fang Spear, correct? Why else yes. would he call himself it? It's like harsh cut on montage of every time he said it with his chest puffed out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only really saying that because I don't know whether you've called him it and he's, as a child, got that in his head 
and believe that's who he is. I haven't been there since the start, so I'm not. Oh yeah, the montage is mostly for the audience. <laughs> no, that's still that's still to the point. <laughs> and as someone who had their power awaken at a young age, it was a it was quite explosive. I like I'd rather not have that sort of similar thing happen in the abyss and attract unwanted attention. Trust me, in the abyss, all we're going to get is attention. Unwanted or not. Yeah, but we can limit how much we have. Well, this really comes back to like almost reach and uh, the High Commander's conversation, doesn't it? Taking the unknown into the unknown. Is that a good or is that a bad? And then the problem is you don't know. But the High Commander's point of view or position was a uh, we're going into an unknown. Let's not take unknowns with us too. Yeah, that's more or less where yeah. Eric's comes from. <laughs> and obviously, like, like, there's a difference as well because obviously some people see the kid as a kid and other people see him as a weapon, right? That's, I think, where the party divide is. Mm. Eden's a weapon if you hit it hard enough. <laughs> Man. Hmm. Interesting theory. <laughs> but yeah, so... Yeah, now, Sarah, do we, do we kind of almost leave that kind of, you know, we fade out on the conversation you guys are having where you aren't re necessarily sure what you should be doing, considering you have been left in the dark a bit by, like, you know... Celeste says, you know, I'll find you when you get the weapon. I think that's the last thing she said, really, besides, bye! <laughs> yeah. And obviously, you've been left for days now. Yeah, she might, he might not actually be the weapon yet. That's, uh, but yeah, uh, I'm happy cutting out. Yeah. And uh, unless MD else has anything specific they wanted to add to the scene before we kind of fade to black on that one. No. Okay. Mm. Oh, second question for everybody. Are we ending the session here, or are we taking a break and playing for, say, another hour? What do you just want to do? Would we be able to end the session? Because I am knackered. Yeah. Probably else is happy with that. There's probably two years that are knackered as well, at least. So, yeah. mm. I just actually noticed the time there when you mm -hmm. said that. That's why I wanted to bring uh, it up, because I don't mind running later. Um, I'm okay to end it there. Are you, Eric? Yeah, I'm fine. I've, I need some help. Yep, cool. In that case then, let's do a wrap-up chat I'm here. I'm spending a lot of time to packing and everything, so... Mm -hmm. No, that's fine. Oh. Makes sense. That's why, obviously, as I said, I have the... Session 9 in there. Right, so, let's review things. Let's just stick straight into the goals. Gather intel on the abyss. No, not really. Nothing yet. No. Working on it, but nothing yet. Um, cause I mean, you please don't take kids, but yeah, we figured all that out anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like that, that feels something you, you should have known really already. Yeah. Um, besides that, you happy with the, the goal as it is set or you just want, have you had ideas for a better goal now that we're, we're through this session? Uh, convince the guy to... No, we convinced him to take care of the kid. We did, so yeah. Yeah, Reach managed that, yep. Other than I'm thinking it's a good idea, but no, mm. there's nothing else we want to Because currently the goal is gather intel on the abyss. If you're happy to leave it as that, we'll leave it as that for next week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then... Yeah. We'll still have time before we leave. That's how I'm wondering, actually. We might have been best going to archive this before. But I mean, yeah. potentially. Oh, we haven't gone to bed yet, haven't we? We've just been no, talking no, about it. No, yeah. it's just fading out on the, the meal. That was all. Yeah, yeah, it's okay, cool. As I said, you still have a day to play with. Mm. Yeah. That's when uh, the High Commander said he was happy to leave, was in a day's time. Mm -hmm. So we'll go to the archivist next session. And with that then, uh, let's just do our, our session review then. Callum, do you want to start us off? 
If that's, yeah, it was fine. Should we do it? No, pa right, so we'll pause yourself there. We'll do the title first, because I always forget oh. title. Crumba pisses off the world. <laughs> that's a suggestion, at least. Well. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> An unopened Ten. letter. Tender orc. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. Bulletproof letter. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> What's a bullet? Serious letter. I love how the focus for everybody here was the letter. No. Well, yeah, it's the, most, <laughs> it's the biggest thing. It's like um. But if you can't open it, then you know you're gonna be hella curious about it. If you can open it. And you would have read it and, you know, been done with it already. Well, because it couldn't open it, couldn't damage it, couldn't anything, then, uh, yeah. <laughs> Probably should have shown it to the guy and be like, hey, look, we received this. Any any news? Any idea? That's my suggestion. To open <laughs> <laughs> I think that's copyrighted. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> In the, postal. in the yeah. 5e chat. Um, yeah. Oh. Like to try and post it, yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, like, there was that part where I'm like, how much do I describe? Hi, commander. Yeah, I nearly did that as well. When uh, <laughs> the commander, <laughs> the, the exhibition. <laughs> so good. Um, let's see. What's a good. Um... It goes an exhibition. The advocate. I'll see. Oh, I like that. Because that's what you did for him, right? Yeah. Like both, like you basically advocated for Crumber and Eremos, so there might be a better yes. terminology for it, but like that's all I've got brainwise. Any other no, that's better than what I was going to thinking of. There, I was trying to think of etiquette and protocol or something like that. But yeah, mm. not etiquette and decorum. But I that, tell by that. proxy <laughs> over the fact that Arya's kind of became his mum. And you you said dadly during the session as yeah. well. So yeah. yeah. Uh, and outrage, <laughs> uh, what about you, Eric? Can he? <laughs> 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 no. You mean that, surely, right? Crumb. Come back! Come by, yeah. Um. Right. So. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with a... Out of those, if you aren't picking, I'm going to pick the Advocate then. Okay. Yeah. I like it. Um, I was trying to think of some way to add in Reach and Advocate in the same kind of, you know... But yeah, I couldn't. Because just Reaching is just applicable for most sessions. Um, <laughs> the Advocate. Uh, it was a good also use of the um, Inspiration as well. I like that. that was actually. Oh, I didn't yeah. realize that could like, be used like at, at a player level. I told them yeah, so, the character level thing, and I was like, "Shit, I'm out of the room. I could have helped." That's so, okay. So yeah. Nice to, to know. Oh, it's good. It's it been used it's massive, but uh -huh. it's massive. Yeah, it's a ma it is a very very big. It's why I want the title to kind of reflect that part of it, because yeah. that was the biggest thing. Was where does Eremos go, right? Um, but yeah, that's. The advocate's good. Uh, obviously, no XP to award because no goals were achieved yet. Uh, we'll work on that uh, next time. Uh, right, okay, now Calm, carry us off. Um, yeah, no, no, like loads that uh, went off. I'm really interested in this letter, like massively interested. I'm like, mm -hmm. is it a, a general letter to all of us or is it directed to each, uh, each individual person? Mm -hmm. Curious, eh? Yeah. What about you, Arya? Um, I'm also very curious about her letter, so I find it quite interesting. But I've also, I think for me, the best thing that I took from this session was, uh, like, just that bit of uh, meta knowledge of, like, oh, I could have done this at any point, whether I was there or not. So that's something that I'm, I, I like, 
understanding how games work. So for mm-hmm. me, that was like the best thing in the entire session. <laughs> and it's it's something good about Fifth Ed is I like the inspiration system. I just wish there were more accessible definitions to the like how to award it, etc., etc. Um, mm-hmm. As I said, any moments like if you remember back when Arya had was like, oh, let's look for an ink shop because that's Eremos's thing. Um, like, I would say because of that, there's been nothing of that caliber since then in terms of like that seemed like an actual moment of inspiration. Obviously, you guys can like lobby for this as well, but it needs to be something stand out, you know, like a moment of genius type things to get the inspiration. But don't be shy about. Asking, do you think this is it? I'll I'll just say if I think so or not. Um, but yeah, like I want you guys to be able to achieve like earning inspiration because it's something that's part of the game. I just need it to be something of inspiration, you know. Mm. Um, especially since if you have it, you can give it away to somebody else, and that's out with my control. That's just if you want the person to do well on a roll, which is why it's good to try and earn it. Because it's a nice way of, if someone's, so let's say Arya is the only one that ever can earn inspiration for some reason, it means that she's able to then give it out to people that might need it as well. Yeah. So that's why I like that you can gift it. Um, mm. Anything else, Arya? You know, to be honest, that was the, the best thing I've, like, that, that mm-hmm. just blew me away. That was um, good. I always enjoy these little sessions where it's like, okay, what am I supposed to do? And you kind of figure it out you're kind of like oh would i be interested in this would i be comfortable in that place so i i, I do like that sort of thing yeah because you kind of find out more about your character about. yeah yeah it makes you think like would i like this would i be comfortable in here and um, in this case obviously the answer is no because she wouldn't be mm-hmm. She'd like to be out in the open and sleeping under the stars and whatever that's good um crumber I'm not going to lie, I really, really like the interaction with the dwarf lady. Right, okay. Broga? <laughs> yeah, that was just so much fun. And the fact <laughs> that was quite obvious that you were enjoying that. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 that, that, that really made me happy. Um, uh, I could have probably, I could have went completely nuts over that if I really wanted to, but but I, I think there's room for more there. So what, we have like a private room is what you're saying when we we all go to bed you have a room to yourself uh-huh. yeah okay yeah. Yeah. yeah that kind of though yeah play full four play that's yeah. that comes up for you <laughs> I think she was more interested in reach well, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, no I, I, I enjoyed enjoyed wee bits like that when it was like someday that we could we could have easily uh, like blown her off mm-hmm. but there was so ended up being so much more to her yeah and that's the thing like I mean she did say she was one of the people going on the expedition as well right so Clear, yeah, exactly. Clearly, she's been chosen for a reason. Also, she's the, as we said, she's called the quartermaster as like her kind of, that's what people that would nickname her, you know, would call her. But uh, she's basically the person, if you need something, that brogue is who you go to. So she's basically like the right hand man of the high commander. Which is not a bad place to be. Um, yeah, uh, Reach. Uh, I was a bit worried when I was ended up with that role there. It's a bit like pressure, eh? As well, it's like oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the but that's why, like, because I, I always enjoy see the RP back and forth. RP back and forth always good, but at some point, it's not really up to am I better with words or are you better with words. It's down yeah. to use want something, so roll for it. And I like the use words to try and justify your side of the seesaw, as it were. But let yeah. the dice decide what way it falls fundamentally yeah. and as i said i was willing to then like open that up to obviously things like the inspiration etc etc um had crumbar not pissed him off and been in the room and been like crumbar remember that time we met in that battle and we were awesome together that might have got you advantage on the roll you know things like that um hence why i wanted that as a dice check earlier with the d20s have you met him before have you not all that type of stuff i mean even the fact that he sat through the whole meeting in full armor is a thing right so yeah. there's obviously a lot going on with this guy and then, yeah, I like the fact that you got like a 19 on the roll, which was good. Um, and the 16 was the other option, obviously, which was brilliant, since it was failing by one, which is crazy. Yes. Uh, but no, anything else? Uh, I'm wondering if it's right an idea, though, but still, yeah. Well, I do think it is, I did think it is, but there's... 
Well, keep in mind, you still need to, like, it's just because you're rolled in one him over doesn't mean you still need yeah. to take the kid. Aye. It just means yeah, he I won't block mean. it now. Yeah, yeah. I still want to do it, but I'm still thinking it's when 80% sure it is a good idea, but yeah, that's, that's still more than 50, so mm -hmm. carry on. <laughs> no, agrees. definitely. Uh, but yeah, no, it was a good session. It was nice to do some, like, narrative steps that are needed uh, without feeling like we're cutting Kitty out of too much, um, which is good. So hopefully, obviously, I don't know if we've got Sophie next time again. I think she's maybe still away by the next time we run. Um, no, I think what happens is she returns and I'm away. Right, okay, so we're trading people out. We'll, we'll see what we can do when we do scheduling yeah. off-cam, anyway. Yeah, uh, because what happens is I'm going to be at Download Madrid that mm -hmm. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then yeah, for Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. <laughs> it's hey! Fine. As I say, but you'll, let's we'll, discuss. we'll do the scheduling stuff anyway, off-recording. Off yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, thanks everybody for playing. I don't think I've missed anything. I think we're all good in terms of all the admin I usually do. Uh, so yeah, see you guys next time. Thank you to all of our listener. Mm -hmm. Bye, listener. Bye. Bye, random person.